Yep. the checkered flag for the B mods. It's Austin Charles in the 81, current track champion. Number 97, Ronnie Hartford, the Raytown Rocket. 7J, you're doing something right when you get Jake Richards to your racetrack. Here he is tonight to see if he can defeat Austin Charles. Look at the 51, Mike Ryan, new ride. Looking good. And we got somebody slow on the front stretch. Looks like the 23 car. Don't know if his hot lap experience malfunctioned or what, but he had come to a halt. 
production manager for Valley Speedway Productions is Ben Martinez and Mar Mario Lee, a production assistant. Um, during intermission, we're going to replay last week's races, clips, at intermission. So can't miss that. It's not just a time to eat. It's time to gather below the announcer stand and enjoy some, I think we'll have a TV screen down there. We'll see. Number, here comes the Mod Lights, that number 53, a new car. I have not seen him here before. I believe that's Charlie Lazier in the 53. Charlie Lazier from Creighton, Missouri. We have the IMCA national champion on hand, Dylan Rafferty tonight. I believe he went to Marshalltown, Iowa last night and won. So he does that. That guy is incredible. Nathan Wolf in the number three on your screen. There's Charlie Lazier in the 53. Green flag flies, the 75 takes the green. Justin Rafferty. Small modifieds, but they are just as quick as their big brothers. Don't have a name on that driver. They give me names for the heat races, not for hot laps. The Hot Pits back there brought to you by O'Reilly Auto Parts. Hot Pits are generally only used during the feature time. White flag is flying. There's uh, Dylan Rafferty coming around. That's Michael Rafferty, that's his brother. Dylan Rafferty in the green, number 46. Possibly in the next hot lap session. That green number three, that's Nathan Wolf, right there. Great young driver. They travel a lot, Nathan Wolf is their camp cook. <laughs> At least that happened in Florida, I was there. 75 going past flag stand, Justin Rafferty. You'll get familiar with all the names Rafferty. Uh, there's a big family of them and they all race. And of course, every year we have the David Rafferty Memorial event. And that is a big prestigious IMCA mod light race held here at Valley Speedway, the Rafferty's home track. I want to say hello to Sherry Rafferty if you're home watching now that you can watch online on YouTube. And uh, if you're here, well, maybe I'll see you feature time. Here they come rolling out. More B-Mods. Yeah, I believe these are B-Mods. They did not hot lap earlier when they had the opportunity. The high fine class of the night is the Mocan Sprint Cars. The fan with the number of the high-flying car that we call will come down to the flag stand after the feature and do a presentation with us. It's a lot of fun for you kids, whoever gets to do it. White flag, they're not going to be on the track long. And here comes the check. Tim Galvin, driving the number 28. Car owned by Sean Burns, who is retired to the hot tub. So, I'm kind of retired too, matter of fact. That's what happens to us old racers with gray goatees. <laughs> yeah, fact of life. Wholesale Batteries, great sponsor on that 28 car. Drake Barker may be the driver tonight. They're kind of switching drivers around in that car. All right. I'm going to tell you more about the high flying class. There's a lot of questions about that as we are promoting that pretty heavily. 
people ask me, what is a high-flying class, Greg? Well, it's appropriate for the sprint cars because of wings and stuff, you know, you think flying. But you'll get to, if you're the lucky winner tonight, catch the right Frisbee, you'll get to meet that driver after that feature event. I see the water truck. It's going through the pit area. It may come out onto the racetrack. I won't let that surprise you. And that will kind of delay our invocation and our national anthem which tonight will be brought to you by justin rafferty right i'm not justin rafferty justin lawson there's a lot of justins around here justin lawson good friend of mine racers for christ and he loves those sprint car races that's why he's here tonight Telling you more about Valley Speedway. We have an affiliation now with USRA and IMCA on two of our uh, modified classes. Have an affiliation with O'Reilly Auto Parts in our hot pit area just to the right of your screen. They exit turn number one and they come out in turn number two when they're done hot pitting. That happens during the feature sometimes. Here comes a variety of vehicles. We got a push Jeep, we got sprint cars. They are going to hot lap is what they're gonna do. And then it may be that they blow enough gunk off this racetrack that it'll require a little water. So that water truck I was telling you about that was going through the pits, it may make its way out onto the racetrack later. Just kind of make sure these sprint car guys got the type of racetrack they want. They are the stars of the show. So here we got push vehicles firing them off. They do not start on their own. These are real sprint cars with V8 powered motors, engines. There's a difference between a motor and an engine. If you're cool in the racing gang, you can, you can call your motor a motor. But if you're a race fan, you better call it an engine. Yes. Number 55 is not only Kenny Potter, but we've got the number 14 here, Randy Martin. So we've got some prestigious sprint car drivers in the MoCan IMCA series this year. These are race saver sprint cars, they call them. Yes, they were previously at another racetrack on Friday nights. We got them now here on Saturday nights. I'm not sure where they else they can go. Maybe that Friday night still has them. Oh, Lakeside. Lakeside Speedway on Friday night. They moved from US 36 to Lakeside. So, And we've got them Saturday night. Prime time. Sprint car time. Excellent time. And our live broadcasts that stream in your living room, you can watch sprint cars every Saturday night here at Valley Speedway. Also, we want to thank Temp Stop. It's a convenience store right up the road by the highway. Valpac, that comes in your mailbox. They help us out here at Valley Speedway. Joslin's Jewelry, also a sponsor. So we've got a lot of names behind the scenes that help us here at Valley Speedway. We try to get those out in whatever form uh, that they uh, serve. We've got all types of people that help. I'm your announcer, Greg Clemens, by the way. I'm here every Saturday night. 
I guess co-announced with some of the visiting series that come like right last week, Ray Cunningham was here with the MWRA. Tonight, I got sprint cars all to myself. I am joined up here in the booth with my friend Brian Klein, longtime associate. Say hi, Brian. Good, buddy. There's a Klein Body Shop sponsor on that one car down there, that number 76. No, no, I don't think so. I think that's a, I believe that's a, uh, St. Joseph, Missouri. Uh, anyway, Brian is more of a late model fanatic, but he, he, he loves the sprint cars, don't you, my friend? He's up here to make sure I make mis don't make any mistakes. My support system, Mr. Brian Klein. Thanks, Brian, for being here tonight. Number four, good looking race car. We're trying not to have any downtime here tonight, but these cars do require push stops or push starts. The number 26B, a good looking sprint car. We got a whole field full of them down there. Potter Motorsports 55, the 21H, coming to us here tonight. with my friend and associate, Brian Klein. What do you think of these sprint cars, my friend? They are, they're gonna put it on an excellent show. It's a good class. White flag flies. Checker. First round of hot laps for the IMCA Mocan Sprint Cars. And boy, are we glad to see them. Valley Speedway known for sprint cars throughout the years. There's been years that we have not had sprint cars. There's always been shifts in the sprint car population. And now we got tons of sprint cars. So as soon as they find out they can come to Valley Speedway and race on a Saturday night with their IMCA Race Saver Mocan Sprint Car, we're gonna have a big turnout, a big deal of cars. So pushing out more, another round of hot laps. We do have some va uh, Valley regular classes yet to hot lap. I believe it's dirt demons that have not been on the track yet. But here we go, another group. And they will be participating tonight in the high flying class. They will throw Frisbees out right before the feature. And whoever catches the right Frisbee with the right car number on it that we call out, that person will get to go on the track for a photo with the driver and receive a gift. Both the participant and the driver receive gifts. The 111 and the number 4K on your screen, these are MoCan Sprint cars. IMCA sanctioned race saver cars. Number 14, Randy Martin, California, Missouri. So good to have these drivers here. Many of them throughout the years. We've seen them various places. 
Now we can see him at Valley Speedway. We've got several surprises for you tonight in this division. Several drivers you will be amazed that are competing. It's Randy Martin is in the number, the maroon 14. There's two of them but they both carry the name Martin on their hoods. Fifty-one of Cunningham. That number seventy-four is Natalie Doney. That's right, female driver. Also a young lady, a musician. We'll talk more about her this evening as she is put into the lion's den with veteran sprint car racers. So we'll get them all out here all fired up and there'll be another green flag for hot laps. You YouTubers can watch from home each and every Saturday night. Or you can come out here to Valley Speedway and see it in person, which we encourage that. Wonderful atmosphere at Valley. There's that 14 car we're talking about. There's two 14s, same, same team. So that means one of them's probably carrying a letter along with their number. There's the 51, the number nine, good looking race car. 63, and no, no tail tank number on 63. The 51 that you'll see is Mitchell Moore. Man, can you believe how many sprint cars we keep filing out onto the racetrack? This is gonna be a regular appearance here of these, this class here at Valley Speedway. If you want to see our complete schedule, we are on Facebook, which you found a link to YouTube. That Facebook page is Valley Speedway. Also, our website, valleyspeedway.com. Click on the links, you'll find our complete race schedule for 2024. A lot of other information. We are also sponsored are partnered with My Race Pass, an app. You can get on your phone, on your computer, and you can see what's going on, information that usually we only are privy to here in the tower. You can see that same information, including lap times. That's My Race Pass. Boy, they, what a field. What a field. There's Mitchell Moore, the yellow 51. He was practicing a couple of weeks ago at Lakeside Speedway. That was last week on a Friday night. So we do know that uh, Fridays are Lakeside, Saturday nights are here. Basically the same group. Not just any sprint car can... Uh, cross the boundary lines and race with the IMCA Mocan Sprints to special engine configuration in this division called Race Saver. Green flag flies. Hot laps underway. IMCA Mocan Sprint car. Spin and turn two. Number nine brings out the yellow and I see dust. We will no doubt see the water truck during that inter intermission we were talking about. 
Not officially an intermission, oh, it's a water truck intermission. As we are warming up, it is springtime in Grain Valley, Missouri. Temperatures are heating up, and there's going to be more complicated to uh, get enough water on this racetrack. I want to explain something to you race fans about watering a racetrack. It doesn't take one night, one day to water a racetrack. That water soaks down in the ground and makes a base. And you're building that base from week to week with the temperatures. So when it is really hot in the middle of summer, we have a good water base underneath our track. And it should not take so much water to get the top moist again. But just getting the top moist doesn't mean you're gonna have a good racetrack. It is an art. And nobody knows that art better than Dennis Strout here at Valley Speedway. Green flag flies, more hot lap action for the IMCA Mocan Sprint Car. Checkered flag fly. See, there's that water truck I was talking about. That should make you thirsty. Trackside concessions can quench your thirst. Cold, cold drinks in our concession stand, trackside concessions. We've got so much to choose from. Root beer floats, ice cream sundae, ice cream scoop, drumsticks, ice cream sandwich to go with your cold drink, and a full line of food at the concession stand like cheeseburgers, hamburgers, hot dogs, nachos, etc. So you can visit our concessions now, and I always eat more than one time every Saturday night. I make my evening meals plural here at Valley Speedway. It is good food, I'm here to tell you. They can cook it up down there. Just like home almost. So anyway, our uh, sponsors that we talk about from time to time, it's quiet now, but on the back stretch, in that seating that is seldom used, you see a uh, temp stop. That's the gas station right up the road by I-70. You want to use them every week when you come to Valley Speedway. Valpac comes in your mailbox at home. If you did not get one, we've got them in the souvenir, the beer stand rather. The beer pavilion has packets of Valpac. If you did not, just go ask. It's got all kinds of goodies. Tickets in there, coupons etc. for things around the Kansas City area. So check it out, Valpac. Also, Joslin's Jewelry, longtime sponsor of uh, Valley Speedway, and they are great to us. 
The Valley Speedway Pure Stocks have a sponsor tonight, an official sponsor all season long, A1 Trading Post. Buy, sell, and trade in Independence. Be sure to check out their large selection of new and used video games, collectibles, tools, and more. Find them on Facebook by searching A1 Trading Independence, Missouri. They do have a QR code you can scan on the banners for a direct link to the A1 Trading base Facebook page. So we really appreciate any new sponsors that want to sponsor a class, want to put a billboard up, be involved like O'Reilly is with the hot pit area just to the um, east of turn one and two. Ah, water. Aqua. That's the aqua truck out there on the track. He's painting the surface with water. And it does. It always requires a little bit of ironing in before they can race on this newly uh, prepped surface. But like I said, when it starts heating up this time of year, and we've already put gallons and gallons and gallons and truckloads of water into this ground, Mother Nature Earth, here at Valley Speedway. There's water below the depths of the surface, and they just have to meet. And that takes weeks and weeks of preparation. It's a science. But it is really hard when things start heating up to have a perfectly manicured, wet, prepared racing surface. It's easy when it's cool, hard when it's hot. Come feature time, though, you can bet we'll have a great racetrack here at Valley Speedway. How many of y'all are at home watching on YouTube? Ain't YouTube great? There's some pioneers in racing on YouTube that have created some interesting sites, interesting programming, content they call it. One of them's a friend of mine that races a midget, Thomas Meserol. He has t -Mez TV. And if you like open wheel racing, his shows are really interesting to watch. Also a good uh, racing related programming, Hunt the Front. Friends of mine that I've made in Florida. They're from Milton, Florida. They go around racing late models and they showcase it in episodes. So along with that same concept, yours truly, Greg Clemens, I'm on TikTok. <laughs> I thought I'd try that ridiculous uh, concept and put some racing on there, kind of episodic. I did put one on last night from uh, Electric City Speedway. There'll be one created from tonight here at Valley Speedway. And I come up with some stuff about like t and Hunt the Front does. And it's fun. And I notice race teams everywhere are starting to do that. They all put their stuff on TikTok, YouTube, you can keep track. You'll be amazed what you do when you search uh, the search tab there on YouTube or on TikTok. You find all kinds of great racing-related stuff. Facebook, we've been putting stuff on there, but as far as video stuff, yeah, TikTok, YouTube, they're taking over. You can still make a video and post it on, YouTube, on Facebook. And on your Facebook page, tell your friends to... Uh, come out to Valley Speedway or just sit there at home and watch it for the first time on our uh, live stream on YouTube. The link's right on our Facebook page, so you can click directly on it and see what's going on here at Valley Speedway. The Shrout family own Valley Speedway. That's Dennis Shrout, Brandon Shrout, sits beside me, and he is our statistician. He also talks on the race receivers to the drivers, and I'm supposed to hush and let that be heard on the live YouTube broadcast. I'll try to do that. See that thing, that wheel? That's a sheep's foot. I guess because it resembles a real sheep's footprint. 
Anyway, that's what we use to soak that water we just put on to allow that water to get down into the surface. We will no doubt have a wonderful racing surface tonight. Just in time. I'm going to tell you about the dirt demons that did not get hot laps. I don't know if they wanted to or cared to, but Dylan Brune in the number 13U from Blue Springs, Missouri is here. Robert Chase in the 02 from Kansas City. He finished second last night at Electric City Speedway. Nick Dangerfield in the 13 junior teammates to Dylan Brune is from Blue Springs, Missouri. Michael Solberg, the number 14 from Excelsior Springs, Missouri. As well as Tucker Steele, driver of the number 8 in Dirt Demons from Bates City, Missouri. Tell you once again about our B mods. You saw them hot lap. There's two heat races tonight for B mods. These are USRA B mods. They do race for sanctioned points. Jackson Simmons from Olathe, Kansas, driver of the 75J in B mods. The 65N, now this is a surprise. That is Jeremy Curlis not driving the 33, but the 65N. Jeremy is a hometown boy from Grain Valley, Missouri. And we like, he's a former track champion, so we do like him. We like all of our competitors equally. Tim Eaton won last night at Electric City Speedway. He is from St. Joseph, Missouri in the 211. The 7J, Jake Richards from Lansing, Kansas. Third row inside the 15A, Alan Anders from Kansas City, Missouri. Outside of him in that uh, first heat that you'll see coming up is Truman Asher from St. Joe, Missouri. Other competitors, B-Mod, USRA, Mike Ryan, driver of number 51 from Kansas City, Missouri. The 97 is Ronnie Hartford. We call him the Raytown Rocket because that's where he's from, Raytown. Billy Carino from Hoyt, Kansas. Driver of the 23C tonight. Also from Kansas, former track champion, the 81 Austin Charles, defending champion. Bobby Wood from Raymore, Missouri, driver of the 429 in B mods. Tell you about our Valley Pure Stock class. We've got, they're brought to you by A1 Trading. There's two heat races of these guys tonight. The crap class is growing. Everything's growing now in 2024. It's amazing. George Bruning from Everest, Kansas in the B5. The 3B car will be Darren Christie from Kansas City, Kansas. The 31X will be Myron Powell from Emma, Missouri. The 63, Dale Eaton from St. Joe, Missouri. And Bobby Owenberg from Raymore, Missouri, in the number 23. Driving his own car tonight, unless that changes. Sometimes they're guest drivers in the 23. Cody Owenberg in the 14, a former champion here at Valley Speedway from Raymore, Missouri. The B4 from Everest, Kansas, is Luke McAfee. Also, the 78. Levi Cox from Kansas City, Missouri, driving a good-looking good Chevy Nova. The 31 is Gary Akers from Independence, Missouri. And the 17X is Clint Baker from Meadville, Missouri. See how that racetrack's shaping up? It's a must-do thing. Part of dirt track racing. That's why we have concession stands. You're fresh off hot laps from the Mocan IMCA Sprint cars. I'm going to tell you the drivers' names, 
and what car numbers they are in. See if you can retain this information. If not, I'll call their names until you know them, know them, and know them well. <laughs> Levi Hink, driver of that 21H, good-looking car from Sweet Springs, Missouri. And that Sweet Springs, Missouri kind of indicates that driver has a ton of experience because there is a racetrack called Sweet Springs Motorsports Complex there for micros that are small open wheel cars. Also coming from those ranks is the driver of the number 74, young female Natalie Doney from Odessa, Missouri. The 63 car, a little closer to here, Bates City, Missouri, Jack Thomas. The 111, Chad Freewalt, veteran driver from Kansas City, Kansas. The 88 is Terry Esom from Bo Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. The 76 car, Jay Russell from Elwood, Kansas. Also here tonight, Matt Fox, driver of the 26B from Sedalia, Missouri. Brett Combs, driver of the number four from Tipton, Missouri. The 55, Kenny Potter from Harrisonville, Missouri. The nine, lady driver Abigail Lett from Odessa, Missouri. Two lady drivers from Odessa, Missouri. Roman Gephardt, driver of the 21G from New Lebanon, Ohio. Ohio? The number 51, Alan Cunningham from Goodman, Missouri. Larry Bratter, Bratty, B-R-A-T-T-I, from Springdale, Arkansas, the number 30X. Randy Martin, in the number 14, from California, Missouri, and I believe he is the only 14, contrary to our beliefs. We do know there are twins, two cars in that stable. Randy Martin himself here tonight. Jacob Dye, Albany, Missouri, in the number 20D. Kendall Weymouth from Sedalia, Missouri, driver of the 4K. And Mitchell Moore from Edgerton, Kansas, driver of the 51X. Car owned by Kelly Potter. We got a ton of race cars. I'm gonna have my associate here count the field, the entire field, we'll give you a number. I'm gonna tell you about the Valley E-Mods. Emmy Ryan in number 11 from Kansas City, Missouri. The five, Colton Jennings from Bethany, Missouri. These are E-Mods. 32X, Brad Richardson from here in Grain Valley. Ashton Taylor in the 18T from Kansas City, Missouri. 75B, Braden Royce from St. Joe, Missouri. The 68, Andrew Gray from Higginsville, Missouri. Ashlyn Pyburn, lady driver in the number 99 from Lone Jack, Missouri. Drake Barker driving at 28B from Kansas City, Missouri tonight. Coleman Browning from Cameron, Missouri in the 21K. Doug Brisbane from Richmond, Missouri in the 86. Mike Richardson from Drexel, Missouri. That is the father of the rookie, Brad Richardson. Mike from Drexel, Missouri, in the number 32. Zach Christopher in IMCA Mod Lights will be driving the number four. He is from Holt, Missouri. Tyler Farrell from Belton, Missouri, driver of the number 34. Garrett Stoneham from Lawson, Missouri, driver of the 4K. The 41, Michael Rafferty from Kansas City, Missouri, as well as Dylan Rafferty 
in the 46. Joe Gunn, Belton, Missouri in the 84. The number three is Nathan Wolf from Lee Summit, Missouri. Justin Rafferty from Kearney, Missouri in the 75. Jeff Rafferty in the 98 from Holt, Missouri. And Charlie Lazier in the 53 from Creighton, Missouri. We're going to have a complete car count in just a matter of minutes here as my associate Brian Klein tabulating those classes. It's going to be a record. I've got to tell you that. We have approximately 65 race cars in the pits. Woo! That's, that's cool. It's been a while since we've had 65 cars here at Valley Speedway. There's the 81 of Austin Charles coming out to help pack the surface. We want it perfect tonight of all nights. Opening, last week was our opening night. Tonight is not quite. <laughs> Our opening. This is our second night. And very important, we have a good racetrack on our second night, as well as the rest of the season. Valley Speedway known for a good racetrack. So we've mentioned all these classes tonight. We picked up a sponsor for the Pure Stocks A1 Trading. If you're interested in backing or, or not uh, sponsoring an individual class, like the IMCA Mod Lights, the IMCA Mocan Sprints, USRA B Mods, Valley Speedway Mod Lights, or mo Midwest Mods, B Mods, whatever you want to call them. They do blend together nicely. If you want to sponsor one of these divisions, just let us know. Come on up to the tower. We'll put you in touch with the right person. I'll tell you what, that was a lot to talk about. 65 drivers here tonight. I've told you about the food. If you are at home watching on your big flat screen, or your miserable little tiny TV, good luck on that food. You'll have to check your own refrigerator, but we have delicious, delicious food here at Valley Speedway at Trackside Concessions. You ever heard of a walking taco? That's something that's thrown together, but thrown together well here at Valley Speedway. Wash that down with an ice cold Coca-Cola. I can tell that we've got a great group of fan race fans tonight. And we're going to have you make some noise. Of, okay, we're going to do it right now. How's that? I want you to make some noise. I'm listening. How many people are here from Oak Grove, Missouri? I don't see any hands. I did not hear any noise. How many people are here from Oak Grove, Missouri? Nobody. Okay. How many people here from Grain Valley? 
Yeah, we got a few. How about Odessa? That sounds good, man. Independence. How about Raytown? How about, are you fans of the Kansas City Chiefs? <laughs> I knew that would work. How about the Kansas City Royals? How about the IMCA Mocan Sprint Cars? I knew you'd like them just after hot laps. Uh, another little community nearby, Buckner, Missouri. Anybody from Buckner? Higginsville. Lee's Summit. We've got noisy neighbors. Grain Valley, Missouri. We have a curfew if you did not know that because we're noisy. We're in the noise district. <laughs> but anyway, if you're at home, you can doze off in your easy chair and turn the volume down, but here you can't. Live in your face. There's Austin Charles. Bill Buttrick is one of his sponsors on that 81. The Charles family, all from the Kansas City area, all well known. Dan Charles is the father of Austin Charles. And if you're old and decrepit, like some of us, oh, Tom Charles, back in the day when he raced, he was fairly well known. And he also drove the yellow 81. I got to race with Tom Charles in late models. And he was well on his way to winning every race of the season at Topeka Raceway. But anyway, he's raced at every racetrack. But Topeka Raceway, he had won almost every feature. And one week, car 55 took the win. Yeah, that was me. I'd run behind him, never in front of him. Guess what? He was homesick. <laughs> Tom Charles, what a competitor. More sprint cars coming out to continue hot laps, I assume. Added water to the track. We're going to make sure that we've got it right before we officially organize the first heat race of the evening. Track looks pretty good. Number six, 76. Comes from St. Joe, Missouri. Jay Russell, the driver of the 76. The 74 being pushed off, that's Natalie Doney, there by Jay Russell. A lot of effort has been put into making this class grow and grow. They are, they do have the banking and the black, or excuse me, the backing and the support from IMCA, International Motor Contest Association, the oldest racing organization in the United States. That's right, older than NASCAR. So, there's potential for this class to grow and be huge, have their own nationals.
They're coming, kind of checking out the racetrack. Justin Lawson, I need to hand off to you. Justin Lawson. All right, Justin Lawson, Racers for Christ. It is your time, buddy. As we are stopping the sprint cars, my friend and associate, going down below to the flag stand. I don't think we're going to be able to quite quiet our noisy neighbors for the uh, invocation and the national anthem. Our flag is not half staffed because they probably did not know Gary Hubert. Remember him in prayer. Justin Lawson, down below, will be doing our invocation and our national anthem. Justin, Racers for Christ. Okay, thank you, Greg. Uh, so I prayed over the drivers in the drivers meeting earlier, a special blessing to start their uh, season off this year. So I'm going to start off uh, blessing you guys with the same prayer. If you'll bow your heads with me, please. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you peace. God, we thank you for this beautiful day of racing here. We thank you for these drivers, the fans, the sponsors, the staff, everybody who makes racing possible, everybody who makes racing possible here at Valley Speedway. God, we just pray a uh, hedge of protection over each and every driver, crew member, staff, fan here tonight. We pray everybody will have a great time, a uh, safe time, and that you would just be edified here tonight. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light. What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glared the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the Thank you, Justin. Always, always a pleasure to have Justin Lawson here from Racers for Christ. How's those nachos? Yeah. Every person seems to have something in their hand from trackside concessions. There's Natalie Doney being fired off in the 74. All right. 
Also on the track is a 76, Jay Russell, the 63, Jack Thomas, the 21H, Levi Hink, the 111, Chad Prewalt. Car number 111, 111. And the 88, Terry Eatsom. either not on there or not working, car 111. If it's on there and not working, just come up to the announcer's tower and I'll get you another one again. Car uh, 111 after this race. Uh, let's check on that transponder, please. You're going to give them some quick uh, hot laps, kind of a test to make sure we got the track watered perfectly. But this is the first heat race of the evening. The Mocan IMCA Sprint Cars. The 111 car, Chad Prewalt is from Kansas City, Missouri, or Kansas City, Kansas, Kansas side boy. That 63 car, Jack Thomas from Bates City, Missouri. That 21H is Levi Hink from Sweet Springs, Missouri. All right, drivers, let's uh, work on lining them up. Let's work on lining them up. Car 21H, 21H, your transponder's also either not on there or not working. Let's get that fixed before the feature. So they're gonna take their side by side issues. line up for if the first two races of the evening. If they're swapped out, you'll come up to the announcer's tower and I'll give you a new transponder. 21H and 111 after this race. 63, here to do battle, Jack Tomps. Jack Thomas from Bates City, Missouri. Hink in the 21H will be on the pole with young Doni outside of Levi Hink. In non-wing sprint car racing, you've heard All right, guys, we'll go one to go this time. Xavier we'll Doni, that's his little laps. sister on the front row outside. Eight lap heat race. Look at them over, the green flag pointed skyward means one more lap. Front row ready to go. Levi Hink, right, set the pace. Safety lights are out, we're going green this time, eight laps. Yellow light out. Here we go, green flag flies, hammer time. Natalie Doney into the lead in the 74 car. Levi Hink falls to second. Natalie Doney, a percussionist at Odessa High School. Sprint car driver at night. And she is out in front. Design Source Flooring, her sponsor, Shanae Lawson Chassis Company. IMCA Mocan Sprints, Jay Russell in third. Now, Hink goes past the leader. Levi Hink, now your leader. Natalie Doney gets high, goes off the edge of the racetrack, loses traction. Yellow will come out. As there she sits. I don't think she made any contact with that railing up there, but uh, we'll get her pushed away from that railing. The number 21H, Levi Hink, Sweet Springs, Missouri. Jay Russell. From Elwood, Kansas, Jay Russell. Kleins Motors and RV. 
his sponsor. So Natalie going to be pushed off again here by the starter Jeep. She fires it back up. I'm, I'm assuming she will go to the rear of the field. Hink, the leader. Drives will go one to go this time. Drives give you the one to go this time. Four laps are complete. Eight schedule. Four laps are complete. So Levi Hink out in front with Jay Russell in second. All right, driver, safety lights down. Green flag this the time. The 63 car, Jack Thomas in third at the moment. The 88 will be challenging him. That's Terry Eason. Green flag flies. Hammer time. Yeah, look at this. Woo, three wide in turn two. Who would have thought that could happen? Levi Hink down into turn four, coming out under the front stretch. At blue 21H, now the 88 in second for the moment. Jay Russell going to race him and race him hard. The 88 battling for second. Russell back in second. Now they're side by side, going at it. These two are going to race all the way to the finish of this qualifying heat race. There's a white flag. Levi Hink. Jay Russell back in second. The checkers are going to fly. Can Russell hang on to second? Russell is in third. Second. Right, Russell back. managed to finish second. He did it with the uh, 88 challenging, the 88 settles for third. That is Terry Eason from Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. But from Sweet Springs, Missouri, the 21H, Levi Hink taking the win, the first heat race of the evening. And we should have the second one rolling right out. These are the IMCA Mocan Race Saver Sprint Cars. You can, there you can see A1 Trading. You can see their phone number, 816-879-3744. Newest sponsor here at Ale uh, Valley Speedway. You're going to have to excuse me. I announce on Friday nights at another racetrack. Racetrack, is, racing is booming in 2024. I'm home from Florida. Racing got off to a good start down there. And back home, we're getting her fired up here. And this is the second night at Valley Speedway. And wow, great crowd, great turnout of cars, 65 race cars here at Valley on a Saturday night. When we've got other racetracks in the area, it's always been tough. And we welcome you to attend each and every Saturday night here at Valley in person. Second heat race, Matt Fox in that 26B will be on the pole. It's a blue car. Coming around turn four right now, right in front of your screen. Number four, that is Brett Combs from Tipton, Missouri. I believe that is the son of uh, Rex Combs. There's also Randy Combs, all raced out of Tipton, Missouri. And racing out of the Kansas City area, our second row inside, our third, second row outside driver. All right, drivers, we got everybody out there. Everybody's down out there. Let's Kenny Potter, Harrison Bell, Missouri, to number 55. We'll give you one to go on the flag stand. Potter family, also well known. Sprint car racing. There's the 26B on the pole. They are side by side with Kenny Potter right, inside on that second row. Go outside of him, the number nine, time, eight laps. Abigail Lett, Odessa, Missouri. Let's keep them second side row. by side till the green flag flies in turn four, drivers. That's Brandon Shrout giving the drivers directions on 
They're race receivers. The drivers can hear. They cannot communicate to us. So, slow. Yellow light is off. Flag in hand. And it's hammer time here at Valley Speedway. Out in front. That's the 26B, Matt Fox. Said, yeah, you Missouri. Brett Combs. In the number four, in second. The 51, Alan Cunningham. Doing a great job in third, challenging for the lead. Matt Fox. Combs gets high. Here comes Alan Cunningham. Alan Cunningham on the bottom in the white number 51. Combs challenging back, but Cunningham solidly in second. Chasing down that leader, Matt Fox. Matt Fox, also a graduate from Sweet Springs Motorsports Complex Micro Racing. Now in full-size sprint cars, the 26B. 51, man, Alan Cunningham, daring. Look at this. Kenny Potter into the infield. Here comes Cunningham, up on the high side. Cunningham now to the bottom, to the high side, white flag. Cunningham gonna go for it. Ride the rim, into the lead. Alan Cunningham, challenging by Matt Fox. Checkered flag comes down, Matt Fox challenging. Alan Cunningham takes the win in the number 51. Woo! Man, oh man. All right, drivers, that is a complete race, drivers, complete race. That was a heck of a race. Wow. Incredible. Woo! We love it. Sprint cars, back in full force, two weeks in a row at Valley Speedway. Non-wing one night, wing the next. And the yellow 51 comes out of turn two first for the third heat race. That is Mitchell Moore. Mitchell Moore from Edgerton, Kansas. He gets fired up. The number 20D comes to us from Albany, Missouri. That is Jacob Dye. And the closest track to him is Bethany, Missouri, the fairgrounds, Northwest Missouri fairgrounds. They've been known to have sprint cars. This guy here, famous for the number 14 from California, Missouri. That is Randy Martin. You ever hear Double X Speedway, California, Missouri? Well, here comes the 4K. This is Kendall Weymouth from Sedalia, Missouri. Good looking race car there. Okay. KWR. Kendall Weymouth Racing. Are they going to get him fired up? So, the lineup will not be changed unless for some reason we don't get everybody started. So on the pole will be the 30X, who we don't see yet. That is... Larry Brady from Springdale, Arkansas. Long toe. Springdale, Arkansas to Kansas City to Grain Valley. We are now with the, the Sprint cars. We are the premier Kansas City area racetrack. Valley Speedway on Saturday night. see these same cars at Lakeside on Friday night. But make Valley your Saturday night home. 
Try the food. All right, drivers, we got everybody out there rolling. We got a scratch. There's only gonna be uh -oh, four. Oh, I see smoke. Coming off the 20D. It's probably just. Oh, it's the, might be the caliper is stuck. Might just be oil on the headers. So we're gonna get these guys. Uh, WK Chevrolet, nice sponsor on the 4K. Sedalia, Missouri. All right, the pole WK setter was 30X. Chevrolet. He's not out there, so the inside row will just move up. We do not have all our cars. All right, so 20, 20 will be on the front row. 20 and 14 is the front row, and then 51, 4K. We got the 30X. We're missing the 30X, our driver from Springdale, Arkansas. All right, Arkansas. drivers, we'll give you one to go at the flag stand, one to go at the flag stand. This we will be an eight-lap heat him. race. We'll keep them side by side till you hit the corner and four and the green flag flies. I'm giving you so one 20, to go this time. The 14, the 51, and the four. The 4K. IMCA Mocan Sprint Cars, heat number three. All right, drivers, safety lights are out. We're going green this time. Yellow light is out. Green flag in hand. Drivers watching patiently as they enter turn three, and you all know what turn four does. Hammer time! 20D out in front. Jacob Dye. Falls back. Here comes Randy Martin. King Randy. Randy Martin out in front. Mitchell Moore in third. This race shaping up. From flag, green flag to checkered finish. Eight lap heat race. Randy Martin, your leader. Randy Martin on the hammer, on the throttle, man, and down low into turn one. Most drivers take that entrance into one. He's making it work for him down into three. The same way, comes out high in four. Randy Martin's got his line established, and it's working. Here comes Mitchell Moore to challenge for second. The yellow 51. Drivers do race for passing points. Their feature event lineup is based on how they do in their heat race. Mitchell Moore wanting to better that. That point passing point situation. One lap to go. Jacob Dye in second. Challenged by Mitchell Moore. Your winner, Randy Martin. Jacob Dye, Mitchell Moore. One, two, and three. All right, drivers, race is complete. Safety lights are on. Race is complete. Man, it's good to see wing sprint cars back here at Valley. That wing glues these cars to the track. Incredible. Absolutely, thoroughly enjoyed that. E-Mods coming out next, two E-Mod heat races. Valley E-Mods, we do not have a sponsor for that class. Midwest Mods are invited to blend in, but we call them the Valley E-Mods, no sponsor. Emmy Ryan, number 11 from Kansas City, Missouri will be on the pole. The five from Bethany, Missouri will be Colton Jennings. There's the five. Second row inside, rookie contender, the 32X, Brad Richardson, hometown boy, Grain Valley, Missouri. Outside of him, the 18T is Ashton Taylor from Kansas City, Missouri. Third row inside the 75B, Braden Royce. 
from St. Joe, Missouri. Outside of him, the 68 is Andrew Gray from Higginsville, Missouri. So all the contenders present. I do believe we're missing the 68 right, after we'll I just said. Come around this time. Give you one to go around this time. Make sure we have no 68. There's the 75. His partner in crime would have been the 68. So, green flag pointed skyward. Next time around, it'll wave. These drivers are going to be on the hammer. All right, drivers, line up looks good. We'll shut off the green, or we'll shut off the safety line. We'll go green flag racing this time. Eight laps, keep them side by side till the green flag flies in four. Here we go. Brandon Shroud on the race receiver, giving those drivers instructions. Down into turn three. They are side by side, coming out of four. The green flag waves the hammer time. Five car out into the front. Colton Jennings. Oh, and thread the needle. Here comes the 18. Ashton Taylor. Challenging the leader. The 11 car, Emmy Ryan, falling to third. Here comes Brad Richardson trying to challenge third. Brad Richardson on the high side. The five, the 18, the 32, now in third. Brad Richardson making a run at second. Oh, the 11 car spins in turn two. Yellow will come out. All right, drivers, yellow's on, yellow's on. There's a car spun low and two, car spun low and two. We got two laps complete. Drivers, that's a uh, caution on the 11 so car, we'll so you'll have to take it to the pits for the one caution. The rule in the heat races will go to two in the feature to get the 75 up one spot, and we'll be good to go. Brandon Shroud. 75, get up there, get the tail. We're going to go green this time. All Jeez. right, drivers, lights are out, lights are out. We'll go green flag, two down, eight scheduled. Here we go. Oops, losing one to the pits. Keep them single file till that the race the starts in four. We don't use the cone, but it's keep them single file till that rate till the green flag flies in four. You heard it from Brandon Shroud. Single file. Green flag flies. It's hammer time. Here comes the 18. Challenging the lead. There's Brad Richardson. Brad Richardson races into second. He's going to go for the lead. Richardson on the bottom. The five car veteran from Bethany, Missouri. Rookie driver Brad Richardson goes past four. The lead, the five, spins in turn two. All right, drivers, yellow's out. Yellow's wow, out. Car wow. Spun in two, car spun in two. Go high, go high. Colton Jennings. Bethany, All Missouri. Right, five, I've taken to the pits for the one caution on the heat races. He sits in turn two. He's mobile now. Going to get a spot in the back. Turn two, tricky right, corner. Go, one to go right tricky we'll go turn one to go two. Right it's tricky. Three laps are complete. Three are down. Okay, 32, Brad Richardson. Do I have any Brad Richardson fans? <laughs> Green flag flies. Brad Richardson into the lead. <laughs> the 18 in second, the 75 in third. The 18 car, Ashton Taylor.
This is the E-Mod Heat Race, the first one of two. Brad Richardson in a good spot to win. Richardson on the high side, coming out of four. Building that lead. Several car lengths before we see another car. The number 18 in second. Brad Richardson coming out for the white flag. This is his final lap on your feet, Richardson fans. <laughs> He's got some momentum for sure. This will be his first ever win, heat race win, Brad Richardson. Grain Valley, hometown boy, takes the win. All right, drivers, that the is number a complete 18. race, complete race, drivers, yellow's on. So now Richardson goes to the feature on the pole. I think he can hear you. <laughs> Those of you at home, we hear you too. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, this is the second heat race. Valley E mods roll out onto the racetrack with some prize, right, some surprises to laps, tell you about on the, the front row. The Another lady driver on the pole, Ashlyn Pyburn, Lone Jack, Missouri, in the 99. Outside of her, driving the Sean Burns, number 28B, right, is Drake Barker. Second laps. row inside, the 21K, Coleman Browning. Outside of him, the 86, Doug Brisbane. Green flag flies. Mike Richard in this 32, with a 68 added to the back of the field. Ashlyn Piper, your leader. She's on the high side. Not going to hang on. Takes the spin. Doug Brisbane into second. Yellow will come out. All right, drivers. Yellow's on. Yellow's on. Go high in two, go high in two. There's a car Tough stop. Tough break for Ashlyn Pyburn. Number 99, Ashlyn Pyburn led there for a lap or two. All right, drivers, lineup's good, lineup's good. 99, you'll have to take it to One the One of these days, with, uh, she's going to take a win, take a, take take a victory. A Spellman Automotive sponsor on that 99. She's a little warm up here in the booth, folks. Green flag flies. That's supposed to be the 21K, Coleman Browning, out in front. Comes Brisbane, former track champion, 2023 champion. No, he was not. Mike Richards was 2023 champion. So we do have a champion from the past and a champion currently in this race and they are second and third. Coleman Browning leads them around. Here comes Brisbane. Sixty-eight car about to become lap traffic as Brisbane works the bottom. 
Coleman Browning on top. The obstacle will be the 68. Move over flag displayed. Woo. I guess that means get on the brakes. Coleman Browning coming around for the white flag. White flag displayed and flown. Coleman Browning. Your leader. 68, you got a flat right. 68, flat right, you can take off the track. Checkered flag for Coleman Browning. Doug Brisbane will be second. Mike Richardson, third current track champion. I'm gonna take a brief minute of burning up. I'm going to the refrigerator. I'm not at my on my couch like you folks at home. I'm going to trackside concessions. And there's a huge line. I'm gonna try to get a Coke, I'm thirsty. Trackside concessions here at Valley Speedway, fountain drinks, Gatorade, bottled water. Those are our drinks, our food, cheeseburgers, hamburgers. All right, drivers, next time by, we'll go one to go. Next time by, we'll go one to go. We're getting some debris off the track, so we'll hold the yellow till the next time. Cool. I'm down at trackside concessions. How y'all doing at home watching us on YouTube? Second heat race for the E-Mods. In the books. saying one of you all don't have your window net up. I can't catch the number. Uh, if you don't have your window net up, pull off and we'll help you get it put up. All right, there you go. Thank you, sir. Uh, official will help you there if you need it. Lee's Trash Service, 816-228-4728. Serving the Grain Valley Blue Springs area. We got another E-Mod heat race rolling out here. Oh, oh there's Pure Stocks. We got our E-Mods e right, under uh, control. We'll Valley Pure Stocks also brought 31, to you by A1 Trading in, the wrong spot or not in Independence, or not on the Missouri. You check it before the feature. That's car number 31. Valley Pure Stocks, a class you could participate in affordably. All right, drivers, safety lights are out, safety lights are out. We'll go green flag racing, this time eight laps. That's mine. There they are, the four. B. On the front row are the B5, George Bruning from Evers, Kansas. Darren Christie outside in the 3B. The 63 out into the lead is Dale Eaton from St. Joe, Missouri. Bobby Owenberg in the 23, now in third behind the bear, Darren Christie. Dale Eaton out in front, the number 63. Here's the bear, Darren Christie second, but he's got Owenberg challenging him. Number 40, Darren Christie being challenged by Owenberg. Dale Eaton out in front. Pole 
Hillsitter has fallen to the rear. Dale Eaton on the roof of that car. It says AMF. What does that stand for? Darren Christie on the high side in the 40. Here comes Bobby Owenberg challenging for second. This is a serious uh, challenge. White flag flies for the 23 and the 40. The number 63, Dale Eaton. Checkered flag, he's your winner. Heat race number one for the Valley Pure Stocks. A1 trading Valley Pure Stocks. The Bear, Darren Christie ends up in second after being challenged right, by Bobby Oremberg. Complete race, car number 31. Check that transponder. If you've got a bad one, just come to the announcer's tower over by where you get your pay. The announcer's tower will get you a new one if it's uh, just mounted wrong or not on there, get it on there for the feature. Thank you. Incredible. A1 Trading second Valley Pure Stock heat race about to roll out. That purple and white number 23 is a uh, part of a team. That white number 14 that rolls out, that's Cody Owenberg from Raymore, Missouri for the second heat race in the A1 Trading All Pure right, Stock. This will be uh, eight lap heat race, eight laps. You'll get the one to go at the flag stand. B4, Luke McAfee, Everest, Kansas. Second row inside the 78 is Levi Cox, Kansas City, Missouri. The 31 is Gary Akers, Independence, Missouri. And the 17X is Clint Baker from Meadville, Missouri. He's fast. You want to watch these guys. That's Levi Cox in the 117. He wants to be Number number 78. Down, Somebody down, wants to be number 78. Car 117, 117, and there's a mistake a that we see number 117. That is Levi Cox. Grandson of Ironhead Cox. Son of Jim Cox. Uh-oh, trouble, trouble. All right, drivers, yellow's on, yellow's on. Be a complete restart. Uh, that flagman did not like that start. We're going to keep them side by side, and the race don't start until the flag flies in four. So complete restart, line them up just like we brought them out, and we'll shut them off, and we'll go green flag racing this time. All right, we're going to do this again. Cody Ellenberg on the pole once again. In that number 14 green flag flies. Cody Ellenberg, your leader. Levi Cox in second. Now there's a challenge there for third. 17X, so Clint Baker. Clint Baker way on the bottom. Challenging Levi Cox. Cody Ellenberg going to run away as the sun begins to set here at Valley Speedway. The 14 out in front. Cody Baker. Cody Baker. Cody Ogenberg. We got Cody's synonymous with Valley Speedway. Cody Ogenberg. Now it looks like 17, Clint Baker. That's why I got confused. Clint 
Baker. No relation to Cody Baker. Now Clint Baker going to try to catch Cody Owenberg. Clint Baker on the throttle in that black 17X. Levi Cox currently in third. There's your leader, Cody Owenberg. And the rest of the field strung out here as Cody Owenberg dominates. You can hear that motor just a purring. Clint Baker got a long way to go to catch Cody Owenberg. As the white flag flies for that white car. One more lap. Clint Baker in second. Checkered flag in hand. Our second Valley Pure Stock Heat Race winner is Cody Owenberg. Clint Baker in second. Levi Cox in third. That's complete race, drivers, complete race. Check for the transponder, 117, check your transponder for the feature. Coming out on the track, USRA B-Mods. Here at Valley Speedway. USRA encourages these drivers to race at other racetracks and come here to Valley to earn points. All right, drivers, this will be eight laps, eight laps. I'll give you the, the one to The 75J, Jackson the Simmons. Scheduled to be on the front right, row. He is not. The 211 of, of Tim Eaton we'll is on that front row time. from St. Joe, Missouri. Outside of him should be the 65M, Jeremy Curlis, Green Valley, Missouri. 7J, back there on the second row, Jake. Jake Richards now in second. 7J moving up quick. Challenging the leader. The leader is the 2-1-1. You've heard of 4-1-1 and 9-1-1. This is 2-1-1. And he's got it dialed in. Tim Eaton, he won last night at Electric City Speedway. Here is he going to try to win this heat race tonight? He got Jake Richards all over him. Jake Richards to the bottom. Challenging your leader, Tim Eaton. Richards on the high side, pink and green. Tim Eaton, two on one. Leading this heat race in the B mods, you earning those USRA points. Jake Richards on the high side, out on the rim, up against the rail, shoots down the back stretch, trying to gain ground on Tim Eaton. Tim Eaton been the man to beat lately at various racetracks. Here he is at Valley Speedway. He gets up by the rim, up by the wall. Down the back chute, round three and four, white flag flies for Tim Eaton. Jake Richards goes to the bottom. Final lap. Checker flag flies, Tim Eaton takes a heat race win, USRA B-Mods. Wow. All right, drivers, safety lights on. That is a complete Tim. race, drivers, complete race. Tim Eaton takes the win.
Jake Richards in second, the 73, T. Truman Asher in third, Alan Anders in the 15A in fourth, 65 in, that is Jeremy Curless. The 75 J is Jackson Simmons. Second USRA B mod yeah, heat race. Eight lab, heat race eight laps. We'll give you one to go Mike to Ryan one to on the pole of 51 from Kansas City, Missouri. Outside of him, this is old green. school all the way. Ron Hartford, the Raytown Rocket, outside of him in the 97 car. 23C inside B Billy Carino from Hoyt, Kansas. Outside of him, another Kansanite is Austin Charles. All right, driver, safety line. Bobby Wood. We're going green this time. Eight laps. Here we go. Bobby Wood in the rear. Okay. Here we go. They're quietly, patiently. In four, it's hammer time. Austin Charles challenging in the bottom. Mike Ryan, former feature winner at Valley Speedway, multiple time feature winner, Austin Charles in second. Raytown Rocket, Ronnie Hartford, come on. He's in third. Mike Ryan holding on to the lead. He knows Austin Charles is there and capable. I think he saw Austin's nose. Mike Ryan driving perfect laps now. Austin Charles in pursuit. Ronnie Hartford in third. Come out of four. Mike Ryan, Austin Charles, Rocket Man, Ronnie Hartford. Oh, yes. Here comes a white flag. Mike Ryan with Austin Charles all over him. Charles goes to the bottom, wheel up. Looking below. And a challenge. Mike Ryan takes the win, Austin Charles in second. Ronnie Hartford in third, the Raytown Rocket. Rocket man. Great racing here tonight to B Mods. Putting on a good show for you. Our local weekly class of B Mods, USRA backing them now. IMCA backing them mod lights with points. Zach Christopher will be on the pole in a number four. The 34 will be Tyler Farrell. All right, drivers, we'll give you the one to go right okay. here. Okay, we'll be Garrett Stoneham, Lawson, Missouri. The 41, Michael Rafferty, Kansas City, Missouri. Bringing up the rear of this. Heat race, not in the rear, got a bonus move up a row, is Dylan Rafferty, Kansas City, Missouri, in the 46. The 04 takes the rear. That is Zach Christopher on the pole. Green flag flies down into one. Dylan Rafferty challenging, he's in second. The four car rear leader. Size.
side by side, the four, the 46, down the back chute. National champion Dylan Rafferty trying to claim that territory in front. He inherits the lead by determination. He gets it done. Usually smooth sailing from here. Dylan Rafferty. That four car, Zach Christopher from Holt, Missouri. Falls to second. Michael Rafferty in third. Tyler Farrell in fourth. Well, that's Garrett Stoneham. We've got two fours. A little confusing here. Two fours. Rafferty. That's the 4K of Garrett Stoneham in second. Michael Rafferty in third. Tyler Farrell. So sitting on the pole at the beginning of this, there's the 4K. Of Garrett Stoneham. That 04 that you see right there on your screen is Zach. Zach Christopher. Checkered flag flies, Dylan Rafferty, laughing Zach Christopher. Lights on, safety lights on, complete race. First heat race for the IMCA Mod Lights. It was exciting. Second heat race rolls out onto the racetrack. The number 84 uh, is Joe Gunn from Belton, Missouri. The number three, Nathan Wolf from Lee Summit, Missouri. The 75 inside, row number two, Justin Rafferty from Kearney, Missouri in the 75. Outside of him, the 98. All right, driver, safety lights out, no side Bobber. by side. We're going green that this is time. Jeff Rafferty. Bringing up to the 53, that's Charlie Major from Creighton, Missouri. Green flag flies. Hammer time. Yellow lights on. Complete restart, complete restart. Bring them out like you brought them out. This will be a complete restart. As we wait for these drivers to close up the gaps. All right, uh, 53, you'll have to take it to the pits. One caution rule in the heat races. You're going to get the one to go this time, drivers one to go this time. Here they come by the one to go flag pointed skyward. Yellow light going out on the back stretch. There they are. Looking good to go. Yellow four, Joe Gunn on the pole. Sun is setting here at Valley Speedway. Nathan Wolf in the lead. 
Nathan Lewis out in front. Look at this, Nathan Wolf, number three. Justin Rafferty challenging Nathan Wolf in the 75. He's on the bottom. Third place car, Jeff Rafferty. Nathan Wolf suffering. Going past is Justin Rafferty. 75, now your leader. Down the back chute, Justin Rafferty, your leader. There's Justin Rafferty on your screen at home. Putting down the laps. Going for a heat race win. Justin Rafferty, Jeff Rafferty in pursuit in the 98. The white flag in hand for Justin Rafferty. He takes the white, Joe Gunn a lap down. Justin Rafferty, Jeff Rafferty. This is the final lap, checkered flag in hand. Your winner, Justin Rafferty. Right, Jeff time Rafferty takes second. Complete race. Son and father, Nathan Wolf, gone to the pits, infield, he must not have finished. So Joe Gunn ends up in third. How's that? So the IMCA mod lights to the pit area. They're going to get prepared for their feature. Speaking of features, when these guys come feature time, uh, hit the racetrack, we call it the Creature lap, Feature. So to to flag, Sam, because we named them the Dirt Demons, and they have proven to be scary. At times, at times. Dylan Boone in the 13U on the pole from Blue Springs, Missouri. Outside of him, the 0 2 is Robert Chase from Kansas City, Missouri. 13 Junior, second row inside, is Nick Dangerfield. And that's Nick uh, Solberg, Michael Solberg, outside of him in the 14. The 20. And the 121. Bring up the rear, the green flag flies. So the zero two out in front. But not for long. Here goes Nick Dangerfield. Out in front, multi-time feature winner, Nick Dangerfield. Here comes Eric Schmidt. In the 121, hauling the mail on the high side, going for second. Getting around Brune, the 121, in the second. Here comes Eric Schmidt in the 121. Eric Schmidt trying to run down the leader, Nick Dangerfield. Nick Dangerfield sort of been uh, filling in. 
when Eric Schmidt's not racing, which was a while, now he's back. The 121 last year dominated things here at Valley Speedway. This is our final heat race of the evening. Here's the white flag. White flag for Nick Dangerfield. And the checker flag flies. Nick Dangerfield taking your heat race win does a heck of a job, I'll tell you what, and here Eric Schmidt coming back to reclaim what was once his with domination at Valley Speedway. Guess what, folks? We're going to roll into intermission. Ice cold Coca-Cola from trackside concessions hit the spot. Now on break, we go to events from last week. Highlights. IMCA Mod Lights. The high flying class Rolling last out on the racetrack here at Stonis. We're doing the same thing tonight. With in the, the eight and the 4K is going to be leading In the eight and the four K is going to be leading the drivers around for that green flag. Tyler, Tyler Farrell, Farrell, number thirty four outside of him from Belton, Belton Missouri. Missouri. Garrett from Lawson. Second row inside a driver from West Des Moines, Iowa, William Nobles in the eight in. The seventy five is Justin Rafferty. The forty one, Michael Rafferty inside the third row. Outside of him, Jeff Rafferty in the 98. Inside the fourth row, the three of Nathan Wolf from Lee Summit, Missouri. Outside of him, the zero three of James Beebe from Harrisonville. Fifth row inside the 84, Joe Gunn from Belton. Outside of him, Dylan Rafferty from Kansas City. Sixth row inside, Joe or Zach Christopher from Holt, Missouri. So 4K, 98 the front row. We're missing some cars. The rains are coming, so we're going to roll with what Three we nine, got. Zero, three, and then three, Several drivers may be loading up already. I don't know what's going on there, but uh, here comes a couple of more. Three more is a matter. All right, catch the tail, drivers. We're going green here. We're not going to beat this race if we don't go green. So anyway, they may have assumed that we were going to cancel, but they're going to get this race in. We're going to help them. Green flag flies. It's hammer time. Jeff Rafferty, the 98 out in front. As there is rain coming down, we will not broadcast the dirt demons. Even if we race them, we don't want our equipment wet. So after this, it's the end of our broadcast. Race fans still present on the premises. We're going to race. Keep racing. This event will be broadcast. The 98, Jeff Rafferty, your leader. 41 in second.
Dylan Rafferty back there in third to green 46. The old four goes a lap down. Dylan Rafferty on the high side. He started in the back. Now he's up to second, going for the lead. Here comes Dylan Rafferty on the high side of the track, working on momentum as he's after Uncle Jeff Rafferty. Family, one and two, and three. So challenging for the lead, Jeff Rafferty is your leader, but here's Dylan Rafferty and Michael Rafferty. Dylan goes by. Dylan on the high side. Lap traffic involved, Joe Gunn, see ya. Dylan Rafferty, Jeff Rafferty, Michael Rafferty. Justin Rafferty, one, two, three, four. Of the 46. He's your leader, Dylan Rafferty. Jeff Rafferty battling with Michael Rafferty for second. Jeff Rafferty back there currently in fourth. White flag flies, one lap to go, Dylan Rafferty. And the checkered flags in hand now. Two of them, double checkers. Dylan Rafferty takes the win. Bob Noster, Missouri, the 43, 40 with an extra three, it's Kansas City, Kansas driver, Darren Christie, the B4, Luke McAfee from Everest, Kansas, and the B4, the 117, Levi Cox from Kansas City, Missouri, fourth row inside the 25, David Oxford from Platte City, Missouri, outside of him, the 23, Josh Marshall. Kansas and George Bruning in the eight, in the B5. Green flag flies. Oh yeah. Action on the front. The 14, Cody Owenberg going to the bottom. The 17X was really fast in the heat race. Here we got Oldenburg on him. Seventeen X. Clint Baker, Meatville, Missouri driver, your leader. 
Owenberg chasing him down. Darren Christie in third for the moment. With the 89 of Evans right behind Christie. And then the B4 rounds out the top five. Cody Orenberg in second, moves up a little bit on the racetrack, actually following the 17X, not ready to strike yet, maybe some momentum will help. Darren Christie still hanging on to third. Evans challenging in the 89. Clint Baker. I do not recall him being at Valley Speedway before. Valley Speedway's own. Cody Owenberg challenging for the lead. Owenberg spins. Holy smoke. 17X, other than Owenberg, has not been challenged much. So we'll get new cars on his tail. That puts Darren Christie up there behind the 17X. Seventeen X, Chris Clint Baker pulling away. Evans and Christie, second and third. Owenberg threading the needle. Now in fourth. Here comes Owenberg to challenge third. He goes to the bottom. Clint Baker stretching his lead out. He's commanding. Owenberg doing some battle. He's there with Christie. A little bit of paint exchanged, I think. Maybe not, but they were close. Cody Owenberg challenging for third. Owenberg down on the bottom. Just not quite fast enough to make that work. As Christie's still running the top side and making it work for him. They are side by side for third place. flag flies. Final lap for the 17X of Clint Baker. Checkered flags fly, both of them. The 89 takes second, Jonathan Evans. And Cody Owenberg ends up in third.
Happy birthday, dear Russell. Happy birthday to you. All right, race fans, we're back. Intermission is over. Sprint cars rolling out onto the racetrack. And as you may or may not know, the wing sprint cars tonight are our high-flying high class. That means they're going to get out and throw Frisbees high in the air. Those Frisbees are going to clear the fence. And y'all got to be prepared because you need to grab a Frisbee. These Frisbees have the driver's autograph on them, has the driver's number on them. If you catch the Frisbee that is the one chosen tonight to receive the prize, you will get a photograph if you have the winning Frisbee. That Frisbee will be thrown from each driver. We're going to see how far this microphone reaches. I'm going to interview the driver so you know the driver's name. I'm down here going into turn one. All right, well, down here, you can hear me. You better be ready to catch these Frisbees, folks. Driver of the number 26B, Mr. Matt Fox. Yep. He's going to try again. Driver of the number 76, Mr. Jay Russell. They're going to keep trying to get those Frisbees over the fence. All right, we're going to move on down here. Driver of the number 20, 21G. Remy Gephardt. Driver of the number 51 needs a Frisbee. You already threw it? Mitchell Moore in the number 51. Good luck. Abigail Lett, driver of the sprint car from Odessa, Missouri. Throw your frisbee, Abigail. Alan Cunningham, number 51. You can throw your frisbee and then get strapped in. These drivers are passionate about meeting one of you down in Victory Lane. You'll get to come down and get a photo with your favorite driver. Driver of the 20D. What's it? Jacob Dye. Throw your frisbee, Jacob. Driver of the 111. We'll get out and throw a frisbee. Driver of the 55, Kenny Potter. All right, the number 14 is Natalie Doney. And uh, if you get an opportunity, these drivers will be throwing their Frisbees when we can get to them and introduce them so you're familiar with that driver.
drivers climb from their cars and throw their frisbees out as they get those frisbees given to them. Driver of the number 111. Driver of the 111 that threw a frisbee is Chad Freewalt. Natalie Doney throwing that flat that frisbee, number 74. Oh, Jack Thomas, number 63, is throwing his frisbee into the crowd. Back upstairs, these drivers got to get strapped in, ready to go. Example for our folks at home, you need to come out to Valley Speedway. Everybody on YouTube, the drivers autographed and signed these frisbees. This one is Chad Freewalt, number 111. Who caught this? She did. Okay, if I tell you on the microphone after this race is over that whoever caught the number 111, Chad Freewalt, and it's you. You get to go down there and give him a prize after the car stop, after the race. And you get your picture taken with him, it's a big deal. So anyway, y'all have fun. If you're here at Valley Speedway, if you're at home, come on out sometime. We're going to do this every week. All right, folks that are here at Valley Speedway in person, you get to participate in High Flying Night. Now, once again, it's simple. Each driver with each car number signed a Frisbee. You caught the Frisbee that they threw. Nobody knows yet until after the race is over who the High Flying winner is. It's not necessarily the winner of the race. But whoever caught the right Frisbee, and we'll tell you, you can come downstairs, go out on the racetrack with me, and get your picture taken and interviewed with that driver. It's going to be fun. High flying night here at Valley Speedway.
All right, these drivers getting strapped in, ready to go into their feature event. 20 lap A feature. Levi Hink will be on the pole in the 21H. Outside of Levi, the number 14, Randy Martin from California, Missouri. All right, drivers, as we start pushing you off, keep them at a nice, slow speed. The We've got so many uh, safety vehicles out there, and just uh, keep an eye out as we get everybody going here. We've got quite a few cars and not a ton of push vehicles, so just be patient here a little bit for us. The number 20D is Jacob Dye from Albany, Missouri. The number four is Brett Combs from Tipton, Missouri. Third row inside the 63, Jack Thomas from Bates City, Missouri. The 26B, Matt Fox from Sedalia, Missouri. Fourth row inside the 76, Jay Russell from Elwood, Kansas. Outside of Jay, the 88, Terry Eason from Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Fifth row inside the 51X, Mitchell Moore from Edgerton, Kansas. Outside of Mitchell, the 4K, Kendall Weymouth from Sedalia, Missouri. Sixth row inside the 21G, Roman Gephardt from New Lebanon, Ohio. The 51, Alan C uh, Cunningham from Goodman, Missouri. Natalie Doney in the 74 from Odessa, Missouri. Abigail Lett. Two ladies beside each other, both from Odessa in the number nine. Larry Brady from Springfield, Springdale, Arkansas in the number 30X. Outside of him, the 111, Chad Prewalt, Kansas City, Kansas, and Kenny Potter brings up the rear in the 55. YouTube audience at home, get ready. Hopefully you've returned to your favorite recliner, or your couch, whatever. It's race time here in the valley. Drivers, everybody is rolling, everybody's rolling. Let's work on getting them lined up for me, please. All right, for reference, the 21H is the pole setter. The pole setter is in between turn one and two. Let's line them up behind you. Yeah, pole setter's in between one and two right now, drivers. Mokan, IMCA Sprints. We got a full field of them. You are going to be entertained tonight, race fans. Levi Hink, Randy Martin, Jacob Dye, Brett Combs, Jack Thomas, Matt Fox, Jay Russell, Terry Eason. Mitchell Moore, Kendall Weymouth, Roman Gephardt, the 51, Alan, uh, Alan Cunningham, Natalie Doney in the 74, the 9, Abigail Lett, Larry Brady in the 30X, the 111, Chad Free Walt in the 55, Kenny Potter. They are taking their positions going into turn three. The yellow light still on. These drivers will get a signal that it will be one more to go. Awesome night at the races here. Valley Speedway. 
you're not having a good time, it's because you're at home watching on TV. You're not experiencing the nice weather, the beautiful evening, the sunset out here at Valley Speedway. These drivers in person that you can right, meet after the races. One to go this time. You do one to go this time. This will be a 25 lap feature event. 25 lap feature. Levi Hink setting the pace. Larry Martin on the front row. All right, drivers, give you one to go. Right Serious here. stuff for, here uh, now. Getting lined up for us uh, in a quick manner. Let's wave it to drivers. This time around, wave. Give them a hand. Wave your hat, wave your underwear, whatever you got. Driver, safety lights out. We'll go green flag this time. 25 laps. Here we go. Nose to tail, side by side, till the green flag flies. All right, they're looking good. The yellow lights out. The green flag in hand. It's hammer time. Randy Martin on the high side. Hink on the bottom. They're side by side down the back stretch. Larry, Randy Martin out in front. All right, drivers, yellow's on, yellow's on. Car spun in two. There's a car spun in two. Got a car that has spun in turn two. Uh, those of you at home, it's right behind the flags. All right, drivers, we do have one lap complete, so let's get them single file, please. We've got one, one lap in. That makes this line up precise. Randy Martin, up front. All right, let's get him single file, single file. We'll it's get be, you in the right spot, put him single file for me. It's going to be a single file, uh, get him in the right spot thing. They're on the race receivers. They hear instructions from the tower. One eleven, Chad Prewalt. All right, twenty six. You go in behind fifty one. Twenty six goes. They're behind listening to get their instructions on where they need to go. It can be confusing on the start of these races. Trying to remember who you were around, who, you, who was around you, who, where you were, etc. Got enough to think about when you're behind the wheel. 26B, get behind that yellow car right there. Move up. All right, 4K, right. 4K. Look at that, 51, Mitchell Moore. Okay, you're behind 26. Used so to win a lot out here at Valley back Speedway back in the day. Matt Fox in the 26. They're in second. We got the 88. All right, 51. The other 51. Terry Eason 51 is up had made five. his way that one far one up one in the pack. He started on the fourth row outside. One with the white wing. He is in second. Cunningham. 51 of Cunningham with one spot. Third is uh, uh, Levi Hink. And then Jack Thomas. All right, drivers, lineup is good, lineup's good. We'll give you one to go right, right here. We'll give you one to go right here. The lineup's good, we know right, that. Drivers, we look good on lineup here. One lap is complete. Again, 25 scheduled. Keep them nose to tail until we get this thing going in the four. Here we go. Beautiful evening here at Valley Speedway, Green Valley, Missouri. Flag flies! Randy Martin. Challenging by the 88 from Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Terry Eason. 
Eastham to the bottom. Jay Russell on his way forward in the 76. Mitchell Moore charging through the pack. Uh, Randy Martin still out in front. Here comes Eastham. The 63 car now in third. There goes Eastham. Eastham on the bottom. Martin gonna be consistent. Gonna be hard to pass. Randy Martin out in front. We got a yellow. Right, on, driver, Instinctively, on. I look and turn two, three, there it is. Two, go high, one and two, go high, one and two. The number 20 car from Albany, Missouri pointed the wrong direction, not toward Albany. That's Jacob Dye in the 20D in turn two. 20D, Jacob Dye. All right, let me get the 63, 63 up in front of the 21H, 63 up one spot. Race Saver, IMCA, Mocan Sprints. Got a driver from Oklahoma. Everybody else is from, oh, we got one from Arkansas. Mo most of them are Oklahoma, or excuse me, Missouri and Kansas. One from Oklahoma, one from Arkansas. All right, drivers, lineup is correct, lineup is correct. We have four down right 20 now. 20 we'll will join the back of the field. We'll momentarily, it looks good right now for lineup drivers. Right, drivers, Randy Martin's we'll father, Larry Martin, watched him as a kid. Here's Randy Martin. Been racing for 30, 40 years. The 88, I don't know the age of the driver that comes to us from Oklahoma in the 88. All right, drivers, we're coming to the one to go this time. You can, we'll I can tell you his name is Terry Eason, and he's doing a fine job in second. The 63, Jack Thomas from Bates, Bates City, Missouri. He is close. All right, drivers, safety lights are out. We'll go green flag. Close Racing to Green Valley. Down, four down, 25 schedule. We'll go green Levi five. Hink in fourth. Comes to us from Sweet Springs, Missouri. 76, Jay Russell from Kansas. Green flag flies! Eastham down on the low side gets around Randy Martin. Randy Martin going to try the bottom. Eastham, your leader. Second. Hey right, drivers, yellow's on, yellow's on. There's Jack a car Thomas in third. In the entrance of one. There's a car stopped on the entrance of one. Best option is go low in one, go low in one. Single file, single file, please. Car stopped in turn one. I'm not sure who it is. This gives us an opportunity as they come around. On the yellow, we can see in where they've moved to. The drivers start in a certain position. A few laps in, they end up advancing or falling back. So now we can tell, get a grip on what's going on. I do know the 88 came up to lead, and he started eighth position. And now he's the leader. Last completed lap, 111, 111 goes in front of 55, 111 in front of 55. So several cars go to the rear that have been involved. That's where they go. If they've been involved in a yellow, brought out a yellow, etc. That one car, that car that brought out the yellow is going in the pits. 
probably where it was trying to go in the first place. Just didn't have have the uh, motivation or the momentum. Call for the 111 to move in front of the 55. 111 up one spot, please. Terry Eason came up here to Valley Speedway tonight. He is leading the field in the Mocan. All right, 111, if you're not moving, I'm going to assume you want to start behind 55, and otherwise lineup is good. Six laps are complete. Six laps are complete in this 25-lap feature. Terry Eason, Randy Martin, Jack Thomas, Jay Russell, Levi Hink, Mitchell Moore. That's the top six. 21G, Roman Gephardt. That's seventh. So from there on back, you can see. Let's see. All right, drivers, watch the official. One, He's going to point out where he two, wants you to drive. Three, three, four, four, five, six, seven. Officials in line. He'll point you where to go here. We'll drive through this so we get this thing rolling again. Eight. Natalie Doney in the top ten. Female driver from Odessa, Missouri. Still in high school. All right, drivers, we'll get be working on moving the safety vehicle off the roadway. We should be off the track, sorry about that. We'll go one to go right here, one to go. We're gonna shut it off. We're gonna go green flag when you come around. All right, drivers, safety lights are off. Green flag this time, six down. We still have 25 uh, laps scheduled for tonight. We're going green this time. All right, Isam on the pole. Well, it's single file, but out in front. Terry Eason, Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Green flag flies! Woo! Levi Hink challenging for second. Randy Martin says no. Randy Martin in second. Jack Thomas in third. Mitchell Moore. Now in third, the 51 of Mitchell Moore battling Jack Thomas. Terry Eason putting those laps away, 25 of them. Randy Martin in second. Mitchell Moore in third. There we go, we see Mitchell Moore behind Terry Martin, or Randy Martin. Terry Hink, Randy Martin, one and two. Terry Eason, Randy Martin, Mitchell Moore, Moore in the 51. Flags are being prepared to let the drivers know that we are halfway through this event. Terry Eason crossing the flag stand, leaving Randy Martin behind him. Mitchell Moore, Jack Thomas, Roman Gephardt, top five. Brett Combs now in the seventh spot behind Levi Hink. The 88 car, putting lap traffic away. Coming up on the top 10. There goes Natalie Doney, down the lap. Matt Fox, 
going to go down the lap. As Terry Eason flying around yellow, Valley yellow, Speedway. Yellow, yellow. Lap times in the 14 second bracket. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Randy Martin just turned a 14.485. You can go to my race pass and see the lap times. You can see the race order. Right now it's Terry Eason in the 88. Second, Randy Martin. 14, Mitchell Moore was in third. There he is up on the high side, turn two. So third's Jack Thomas, right, guys, Roman Gephardt, Kendall Weymouth, and sixth, will be Brett Combs. Mitchell Moore will have to go to the rear of the field which he made his way up from way back. He was in ninth position, made his way up into third. The yellow 51, we'll see if he can do it again. All right, lap cars will start at the back, so 74. 9, 55, and 21. Brandon Shrout. All right, so lineup will be 88, 14, 63, 21G, 4K, 4, 51, 111, 20D, 26B, 74, 9, 55, 21H, 76. Terry Eason, many a good race car driver came out of Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. It's down by Tulsa, home of the Chili Bowl, home of Micros. Many drivers graduated just like they do here from Sweet Springs. 74 End up, up in sprint cars. Up this is a good stepping stone to a 410. So, Brandon Shrout All telling right, the so drivers what to do. One of four, you will start behind the 26B, the 26B. Nine up one more spot, nine up one more spot. Twenty one H, twenty one H, I think you missed a transponder head. You're in front of the one eleven car, twenty one eleven. Oh, we've got a problem on the back stretch. Sometimes They're working on the gate. Hiccup and I think you hicked up. Hick up one there. I don't know if it came open or something happened over there that got hit. So we'll have All right, a yellow. Guys, we'll get the safety crew working on whatever they're working on back there, and then I think we're good. We got 16 I think laps. we're good now. We do have two 51s. The yellow 51 is Mitchell Moore near the rear of the field. The other white right, and right. black 51. 
is further toward the front. Alan Cunningham from Goodman, Missouri. So the 88, the 14, these guys are checking out. Jack Thomas in the 63 in third. Still anybody's race. The start helps. There's Terry Isom. The five, the 51 we're talking about, Alan Cunningham, both 55s have ended up, or both number 51s have ended up in the same place in turn two. Drivers, uh, good job. You're all in the correct order, so we'll just get this car rolling again, and we'll get going momentarily. So the 51, Alan Cunningham being pushed back onto the racetrack. Terry Isom, your leader. Mitchell Moore has fallen back. All right. Uh, had the same trouble 51, that the 51 uh, of Cunningham had with turn two. Once you get going, you'll drop in behind the 51 or more. 51 of Cunningham will start uh, behind 51 or more, please. Here they come. Isom there in front, the 88. All right, 51, get up there behind uh, Mitchell Moore, and then we'll be good to go. It's Randy Martin right, in second the in the 14. Flag racing when you come around, drivers. All right, drivers, 16 like laps in. This time. We're 16 down. We're still going to go for 25. Here we go. Looking for a green flag. Yellow light is out. Terry Isom setting the pace. Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, green flag, hammer time. I have some oil on the racetrack between one and two. Might have lost some motor parts. Out of that 51, right, Alan Cunningham. Single file, let's get them single file. And, uh, got some oil down there between one and two down below. going on here right now behind the scenes. There you see sitting in turn two, the 51 that's had motor problems, but probably got oil on the track. Something happened to him. All right, 21H. Uh Yeah, 21H, we're still Martin. stuck on the same laps. So we'll 21, Randy uh, Martin age up seldom runs there. second. Here he is, Mocan Sprint Car Series. 
IMCA sanctioned this particular season series first time ever at Valley Speedway in Green Valley Missouri we're enjoying it so far some of the drivers not Drivers, we'll move that safety vehicle and see if we can make some runs. So, this, trying to uh, get a hook on the 51. Oil or whatever we got down here on the track. He's so going to have to be picked up. I'd say he's going to through one and two. We'll run it in a few laps here. Probably rear end grease. Wheels clear off the ground. The record's going to take it to the pits. He's done for the night, obviously. Alan Cunningham. Eight, fourteen, sixty three, twenty one G, four K, the seven are the four. There goes uh, the fifty one on the hook. On the hook. I should be able to give you the one to go when you come around. We should be able to get one to go when you come around. about seven laps away from the finish of this event. All right, driver, safety lights are out, safety lights are out. 16 laps are complete. We're still shooting for 25. We will go green flag this time. Terry Eason, the 88. Brings him around slow. Now he's on the hammer. Green flag flies. Eason, Randy Martin. Jack Thomas making a run at Martin. Martin now closing the gap on the leader. track is really racy after 24 laps. Here comes the white flag. Terry Eason. Final lap. Checkered flag going to fly. Terry Eason. Tangles of the lap car. He's the winner. Randy Martin.
Martin in second, Jack Markin, Jack right, Thomas in third, race, Roman Kephart in fourth, and Kendall Weymouth in fifth. All right, so we'll get the, for the first being tossed, the number nine will be on the front straight. Number nine will be on the front straight with the winner. All right, if you caught Frisbee number nine, which is Lady Driver Abigail Lett, you're going to get to meet her. If you will meet me at the flag stand, whoever caught Frisbee with the number nine on it, Abigail Lett, meet me at the flag stand. I'm going to go talk to our winner, which is Terry Esom, Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Wow, man, what a race. Been a while since we had wing sprint cars here at Valley Speedway tonight be the night that we rekindle that excitement. And man, it was a good race. I'm gonna go down and talk to our winner in victory lane. Looks like we got hardware to take to the number nine car as well. We're going to talk to Terry Eason in the 88 first in Victory Lane. Then they're going to take some pictures. John Lee, high flying photography here in Victory Lane. Bridge Point, his sponsor, he's happy. He takes the win, Terry Eason. Let me talk to you, Terry. Congratulations, we have home viewers up there. Say hi to them on YouTube. How's it going? <laughs> Terry, man, we don't see you if, ever, if at all. Have we seen you here before? I have never been here. Uh, come to Missouri a lot and try to race with these 305 guys, but I've never been here. It's a really fun racetrack and uh, really racy. Awesome, you taking home the hardware. Congratulations, we hope to see you again. Let's hear for our feature winner tonight. Terry Eason, Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. We're going to get high flying photography involved and get pictures in Victory Lane. He'll get, oh, he even got the dog. Family dog down here. All right. This is pretty cool. We got two young ladies down here. The number nine, Lee's Trash Service, Abigail Lett. This has to be cool for you meeting one of your new fans. I'm just really excited I got to give the Frisbee to her. You guys look like sisters, sorta. <laughs> What's your name? Macy. Macy, are you having fun tonight here at Valley Speedway? Yeah. You caught a Frisbee, you got a dog to play Frisbee with? <laughs> yeah. You do? I, I do too. Abigail, congratulations on you being a part of the, tonight's program. You get racers rewards. And we'll try to get John Lee over here from High Flying Photos involved in this photo op. There's Jimmy Backus. And uh, it's a good night. We've got checkered flag involved. So we're having fun in Victory Lane. we got more races to come. Got to keep it moving, Rawhide. Roll them, roll them, roll them. Yeah. First feature of the evening, and I'm not going to say the best shall be first, because all these races are good. The modified racing is awesome here at Valley Speedway. Those are our supporters that here every single week. We hope to see these wing sprint cars back again. Have to look at their schedule. You've got it at your fingertips there if you're on the computer. Go to valleyspeedway.com, go to schedule. High flying night for the sprint cars.
Pull them around. Go ahead and bring them around. Go ahead and bring them around. All right, drivers, go ahead and start rolling. Drivers, between turn three and four, you got a car stopped in the upper back stretch. Go low. Slow it down on your pace just a little bit. Slow it down just a little bit for me. Thanks. How many Brad Richardson fans we got here tonight? Is it possible he can finish number one? He's on the pole position, 32X. From Oak Grove, Missouri, outside him, the 21K, Coleman Browning from Camden, Missouri. Second row inside, Ashton Taylor, Kansas City. Our track champion, the 86, Doug Brisbane. Third row inside, the 75B, is Braden Royce from St. Joe, Missouri. Outside him, the 32, Mike Richardson, right, drivers, Drexel, Missouri. Richard, Fourth row inside, the 68, is Andrew Gray. The 28B is Drake Barker from we'll Kansas City, Missouri. Colton sure Jennings from Bethany, Missouri, the number so five. Sure. The 11 is Emmy Ryan from Kansas City, Missouri, and right, Ashland Piper we'll bringing up the rear time. in the 99. Let's wave at the drivers if they come around. All right, drivers, safety lights are out. We will go green flag racing this time, 20 laps. Here we go. Side by side, nose to tail, drivers. And the green flag flies, hammer time. Suck, we're still going. Doug Brisbane on the high side. Challenged by the five. That's Coleman Browning in the two second spot, the black number 21K. Brad Richardson has fallen to third. Got a spin yellow's down on, in turn yellow's four. Yellow's on, yellow's on. Car spun in four. Doug Brisbane there in the 86. Multi-time feature winner and track champion, both. And he is in a pretty good spot to take home another win tonight. Coleman Browning's fast, Brad Richardson's fast. back to the last completed lap so it's 86 Drake Barker 21k 32x and then the 32 26b 5 68 11 75b and then 18 will start tailback with a caution Keep them single file, keep them single file. Look at this. 
Three good cars capable of winning, right? One, two, and three. Actually, the top five, all of them capable. Lineup is good. On the restart, 21K, do you want in or out? Make it obvious. Where do you want to go? All right, 21's out. 32 yellow is in. 32 white is in. 32 yellow, go inside the black car. In the outside line, 32, you got to go inside. 32X in. Drivers. White, 32 in. White, 32, you're in behind the other 32. Drivers choos choosing their Delaware Double Delaware, where uh, restart. Right, there you go. Five is in. Delaware, double file restart. Five is in. 75 and outside that white car, unless you're trying to start in the back. Okay, drives, I'll give you one to go this time. I'll give you one to go this time. So Coleman Browning chooses for the high side. That puts Brad Richardson on the bottom behind Doug Brisbane. All right, drivers, one down, 20 scheduled. We'll go green flag this time. 20 laps scheduled. 20 lap feature, one lap down. Here we go. Coleman Browning trying to get that win from Brisbane. Brisbane fighting back. Brisbane out in front. All right, yellow's on, yellow's on. Car spun low in between three and four. Go high in three and four, go high in three and four. Trouble in four. So Number 11. Miles. That is Emmy Ryan from Kansas City, Missouri. Let's see if she, let's see if Emmy can get this car turned around. So we're going to get a look at them as they come past the flag stand here. Brisbane, Browning, the 28 right, car. Up one spot, X up one spot on Drake one Barker spot. now in third. On the restart, 21. In Brad out, Richardson 21. in fourth. All right, 21 down, 28 is in. 32X will be in. 32, 32X inside the white car. All right, five in, 68 out, 18 is in, 75 is out. All right, drivers, we'll go one to go right here, one to go right here. Two laps are complete, nose to tail, keep them side by side until the green flag flies. All right, they're looking good. Brandon Shrout got them whipped into shape. Drake Barker. Inside, second row. Green flag flies, Barker to the bottom. Browning makes a dive to the bottom. Challenges Brisbane. Here comes Brad Richardson back, and we've got trouble in turn two. Craziness ensuing here at Valley Speedway on a Saturday night.
start tailbacks for the caution. So they're looking good. We will uh, go in head of, go in front of the white 32. The third place is where you'll start at. Last completed lap. Caution call went to the five for the spin. All right, 32. Brisbane, your leader. All right, 32X, move up to the third spot. Brad Richardson still in third, and in the dust, it might have been Mike Richardson. All right, we're going to shut the lights off. We're going green flag this time. Nose to tail, nose to tail, tail the race. Two starts. Richardsons there. Jumping out of line, nose to tail, tail it starts. Single file. <laughs> Craziness. I can't tell them apart. Green flag flies. Coleman Browning challenging for the lead. All right, yellow's been Yellow's gonna stay on, yellow's gonna stay on. It's single file until the race starts, nose to tail. So if you're not nose to tail, if you're not seeing the back of another car because you're so high up the track, that is not the proper way to start. You will start at the back next time. Try this one more time. All right, you guys are gonna help me, have to help me. Um, got my 32s confused. You cheer if I'm right, okay? Doug Brisbane, Coleman Browning, Brad Richardson, Mike Richardson. Okay, we got it right. Green flag flies, hammer time! Down on the bottom, Coleman Browning, Brad Richardson in third. Doug Brisbane, former track champion, out in front. Brisbane, hanging tough, man. He's your leader. Trouble in turn two again. Trouble. All right, 75, you go behind the black five. 75 behind the black five car. 68 to the tail. Give me the caution, and then we'll be good to go. 75. 75, get up there behind the five. Get behind the five there. Tell right, him. 18, let 75 in. Coleman Browning. Right, lights out. That man's a racer. He's been here one several times. He's in that black number two. It's supposed to be a different number. 21. Green flag flies. Browning. Racing hard. Brisbane. Holding him off. Here comes Brad Richardson. Mike Richardson in fourth. Doug Brisbane in the 86. Coleman Browning in the number 21. Twenty one K not catching eighty six now. Yellow is on, yellow is on. Yellow is out. Trouble in turn uh, two. Eighteen, that's two. Thank you, sir. Eighteen goes to the pits. Two spins and you're out. So eighty six, twenty one, thirty-two. One of them's in the X. They're Brad Richardson, the yellow, mostly yellow car, right, carries the number X. Goes up in That's front of Brad Richardson. We're good. Seventy-five up front of sixty-eight, six laps down. We will go green flag.
flag this time, Robert. Green flag this time. Look for a green flag this time around. Doug Brisbane has the pressure on him. Coleman Browning in second. Green flag flies. Browning side by side. Side by side, Brisbane takes it back. Wow, look at this. I'd say Coleman Browning trying the high side. It's the last attempt. As this race winds down, Doug Brisbane is going to be uncatchable. Now the Richardsons are side by side. Mike Richardson going for third. Brisbane, your leader. Browning. Mike Richardson now in third. Brad Richardson in fourth. Drake Barker now running fifth. Look at this, Browning stretching it out. Brisbane way out in front. Browning has fallen off the pace. So, that puts 86 way out in front, more than we thought. Second place, Mike Richardson. Doug Brisbane making it look easy now. Very familiar territory for Doug Brisbane out in front. Coleman Browning dropped off the face of the earth. It's the Doug Brisbane show. Richmond, Missouri driver. Mike Richardson in second. Brad Richardson still in third with Drake Barker in fourth. Yellow's on, yellow's on, car spot in four, yellow's on. Trouble. Turn four. 75B, 68 spinning. And we were very, very close to wrapping this up. Browning, gone. Brisbane, your leader. All right, 75, get around here and catch the tail. Mike Richardson. It's going to come down to a green Brad Richardson. There we see, I believe it's Browning. All right, drivers, this time by, you'll get the one to go. This time by, you'll get the one He's to go. We'll be the down fifth. to a green white checker.
three, four, five. That is Browning in fifth. All right, drivers, lights out, green, white, checker. Here we go, let's finish this up. Two black cars for the sixth place cars to number five, Colton Jennings. Doug Brisbane. Current track champion, Mike Richardson, right behind him, going for the lead. Mike Richardson out in front. White flag. Checkered flags, double checkers. They're flying for Mike Richardson, double checkers. Brisbane in second. Brad Richardson in third. One, All two, right, drivers, and three. That was a complete race, drivers, complete race. Good job, everyone. downstairs how are we doing at home on our YouTube audience I hope you're still watching we got more racing to go this is our EMOD feature winner in victory lane Got both Richardsons. <laughs> Son saying, Congratulations, Dad. I'm going to get down here and get an interview and then turn it over to John Lee to take pictures in Victory Lane. Hear what Mike Richardson has to say as he climbs from the number 32 pit stop. Catering. One of his sponsors, Farmers Insurance, wholesale batteries. There he is. Get a word with with Mike. Man speed specialty. <laughs> Hugs are in order. Manthe Motorsports. And we got a bunch of them. A lot of support for our winner tonight. Get him around here, get a word with him real quick. <laughs> Congratulations. That was a fantastic race to watch. I could not predict that. Brad started out really good. Did you think Brad was going to win? Yeah, I had a hard time trying to get around him. And I had to try to go down low to get past him, and then finally got past him, and then I had to try and reel the other guys in. So, yeah, it was it's tough out there. The track's really slick, and you just had to be real smooth on the throttle. And, and uh, yeah, I was, I, that's the first time I beat Brisbane. Brisbane's awesome, and that's uh, that's the first time. And, man, that was I, – I didn't expect that, but that, that was awesome. Thank it was a fun race to watch. Let's hear it in victory lane for Mike Richardson. HighFlyingPhotos.com. We got a lot of members of the media here tonight. A good night to take a win. Don't run off. We got the B mods, the mod lights, and the creature feature. Dirt demons. Excellent night, second night in a row that we've had this place rocking and a rolling. I want to thank all of you for coming here tonight. Ain't over yet. <laughs> I 
I've got a band. <laughs> Valley Pure Stocks. Coming up next. Good car count tonight. We're glad to have Valley Pure Stocks back. A1 Trading. Valley Pure Stocks. On your screen, if you're at home, that number 32, get them straight. That one is Mike Richardson. He's the dad. Brad Richardson had the mostly yellow number 32, 32X. Very exciting race. Here we go with our right, A1 stocks. trading, roll, pure stocks. Roll, Dale Eaton on the pole in the number 63. Outside of him, 20 lap A feature, the 17X, Clint Baker, Meadville, Missouri. Second row inside, Cody Owenberg from Raymore, Missouri in the number 14. Outside of Cody, his dad, Bobby Owenberg in the 23. Third row inside the 403, Darren Christie from Kansas City, Kansas. Beside him, the 117, Levi Cox, Kansas City, Missouri. Fourth row inside the number 31, Gary Akers, Independence, Missouri. Outside of Gary is the eight or the B5, George Bruning from Everest, Kansas. Right, Myron Powell in the 31X from Emma, Missouri. And Luke McAfee, Everest, Kansas in the B4. Let's wave at these drivers as they come around. Next lap, they'll have their hands full. Drivers, safety light's gonna stay on. We're gonna wave off the one to go. I got a car stopped on the front straight. I got a car stopped on the front straight. I think we got a car stopped. Yep. Yeah. It's Darren Christie, the bear. The bear. All right. Apparently, there's some debris in three. But we're gonna be out there looking for some debris in three. I'm not sure where it's at, but we'll uh, get it squared away. He had a message for the track officials: debris in three. See the little three there beside the third, the 40? Not sure the significance of that. But. Four and 403, that's what we're calling it in the tower. So here we go, looking for debris in three. Cruising in the red truck. All right, drives, we'll go one to go this time. We'll go one to go this time. They'll get to one lap to go. Yep, yellow's going to stay on, drivers. They got they found some de more debris. They're over there picking up in three, found some more debris. So we will try it one more time. Oh yeah. All right, drivers, this time we'll go one to go. One to go. On the pole, the 63 of Dale Eaton, St. Joseph, Missouri, with Clint Baker, right, drivers, Meadville, like Missouri, we'll outside of him in the 17th X. The Owenbergs on row number two, father and son, Cody and Bobby. The Bear and Levi Cox, third row. Here we go. Green flag flies. Hammer time. Look. 
look at this. Bobby Owenberg kind of leaning against that 17X of Baker. Close quarters. Dale Eaton out in front. Clint Baker, Bobby Owenberg, Levi Cox. Wow, man, this is awesome racing here at Valley. Once again, another great feature event unfolding. The 17X Clint Baker comes to us from Meadville, Missouri. Oh, no, into the wall. Uh-oh. Bobby Owenberg and the 117 Levi Cox. They get into the wall. Two purple cars collide. Purple rain, purple rain. Huh. Bobby Owenberg, you can see the damage as he got into it with the 117. All right, 117, you will go up to the third spot, 117 up to the third spot. So they're putting the 117 in the third spot. This is a hard one to take, Bobby Orenberg, at the rear of the field. And then 4-0-3 behind the 14. 4-0-3 goes behind the 14 is what they're saying. So this is interesting. It's B5, B4, and then 31. That's how it should be. Let's get them single files to make sure they're in the right spot. <coughs> Dale Eaton, um, sure I'll be surprised if right anybody spot. can pass him. Clint Baker working on it in that 17X. He's in second place. The 117 Levi Cox riding surprisingly so well tonight. Cody Owenberg always runs good. I'd watch for Cody to make a move on Cox and uh, possibly end up in second, maybe first. Cody Owenberg, just about unbeatable here at Valley. That's Darren Christie in the 43 right behind the white 14. As we do the Delaware double file restart. 31 in As the Indians are lined up behind their chief All right, lights out. We're in the state of Delaware. That's where that came from. So, Dale Eaton going for a win here at Valley. Green flag flies. Cody Owenberg letting himself be known there to the 117 of Cox. There's Darren Christie moving into fourth. Dale Eaton, Clint Baker, one and two. Cody Owenberg, the white car, looking for a way to the front. 
Somehow, Darren Christie got the best of him. Darren now in fourth behind Levi Cox in the purple 117. Clint Baker falling off the pace. As Dale Eaton appears to be strong, super strong. Black car in the darkness in one and two. That is our second place car. That is Clint Baker, I believe. Am I right? Nope, there's the 17, Clint Baker. Must be the 31. Right, Gary Akers. Got him lined up, 403's in, 14 down. V5's in, V4's out, 31 If in. those headlights worked, maybe people could see you up there in turn two. Good to go, seven car down. <laughs> turn your headlights on. He's pulled over. Got those flashing lights behind him. A1 Trading. Sponsor of the Pure Stocks. They're in Independence, Missouri. They buy, sell, and trade. Go by their sign, write their number down. Check them out. Push vehicle, look at that bumper, man. That's the number 30, 31. Whatever. Got several numbers on it. Might be All the right, 31X, I'm not sure. Right here. We'll get 31 up here to the tail and we're good to go. We're going green this time, seven on I'm going to guess that that is George, or Gary Akers. Gary Akers, the 31. Going to the rear. Here we go, green flag. Dale Eaton. Clint Baker in second, but look who's in third. Cody Owenberg back up to third. Challenging Clint Baker for second, Owenberg. One seventeen to Cox in fourth now. Doing a great job out front. Dale Eaton unchallenged. Let's see if Clint Baker can get close enough to let him know he's there at least. Clint Baker in the 17X in second. Baker's driving as hard as he can.
Eaton still your leader. Here comes Baker closer than ever. Clint Baker in that spot. That spot that usually only works when something happens. Dale Eaton are nearly perfect. Little bit of smoke comes from the 17X. He's pushing that car hard. There's smoke coming off the left rear. Clint Baker wants a win pretty bad as he is relentless. Down low. Eaton has to know he's there now as this is going to get exciting. There's Dale Eaton in the lead. Here comes Clint Baker. The white flag is about to fly. Final lap. Dale Eaton has to protect his position. He goes to the bottom. Clint Baker pushing that car for all it's got. Baker in turn three. They're coming out of four. Baker going to go for it. Checker flags fly. Dale Eaton, your winner. Clint Baker in second. Cody Owenberg in third. Levi Cox in fourth. Beautiful evening here in the valley. Step out of that old booth and it's just heavenly out here. We're gonna go down trackside, talk to Dale Eaton about his win. Car might be a little warm, so be careful when you go down there. B mod staging next. Highflyingphotos.com getting pictures in Victory Lane. I think he might have got her down a temp or two. There he is, Dale Eaton. I'm going to pass on what he says. He says, I'm getting too old for this. I don't think so. Awesome. I'm going to get a word quickly, and then we can do photos. Dale Eaton. Man, last night I interviewed Tim Eaton at Electric City. And here you are. Continuing the family tradition. Yep. Now, is that your son? Yes, Tim's my son. And uh, where's he tonight? He's right over there on the pole, that next race. I see. So he might win. Both of you might win tonight. What do you think about that possibility? Nope, that'd be pretty awesome. We used to do that all the time down here. And I remember you used to come to I-70 to a little track. Yep, that was a lot of fun. Well, you're good on these quarter miles, and congratulations to you. You've got some great sponsors, Napa Auto Parts. Let's get in victory lane with Dale Eaton. And most of all, the most important thing when you got high-flying photos in the house is to make these drivers smile for John Lee. So one, two, three, let's hear it for Dale Eaton. Oh, by the way, Grandpa Andy is here tonight. Yeah. 
He got the new baby boy. That's right. Your grand. What's his name? Miles. Miles. All right. Congratulations on that. That's Andy Benedict. Miles' first night at the races. Hope y'all are having fun at home on YouTube. For those of you that don't know, you can go to the Facebook page of Valley Speedway, and the link is right there. You can watch us live on YouTube. You thousand people watching right now on YouTube. B mods coming up next. USRA B mods. All right, B mods, you kind of started rolling this way. B mods. Tim Eaton. Number two, Eleven, and he is indeed on the track as we speak. That was his dad, just took the win. Tim Eaton going to try to make it a family affair. Number 211 on the pole. Jake Richards beside him. Lansing, Kansas. Second row inside the 81 of Austin Charles. The 73T of Truman Asher from St. Joe. Third row inside the 51 of Mike Ryan. The 97 of Ron Hartford. Fourth row inside the 15A is Alan right, Anders. Wave, the 429, wave, Bobby Wood. The 23C is Billy Carino. The 65N, Jeremy Curlis and Jackson Simmons in the 75J. All right, drivers, we got a 25 lap feature event, 25 laps. Keep them nose to tail side by side until the green flag flies in four. Here we go. Beautiful. Perfect, perfect lineup for the feature event. Here we go, green flag about to fly. Hammer time! Tim Eaton out in front. Jake Richards on the high side. Here comes Truman Asher. The competition is heavy duty tonight. Jake Richards way up top. Truman Asher in third, coming after Eaton, Tim Eaton, on the bottom in the 211. Truman Asher, make it a challenge in that 73. 73T. Jake Richards in the 7J. Dale Eaton now in second in the 2-1-1. Car spun in turn four. Drivers, lineup looks good. 211 in or out on the restart. All right, 211's in, 73 out, 81 is in, 97 is out. 
15 AN, 96 out, 51 in, 23 C out, 4 in, 65 out. Alright, lineup's good. Three laps are complete. Alright, here we go. We're going to go green flag racing this time. Drivers, three laps down. Side by side again. Looking them over, the green flag flies. Hammer time. Jake Richards out in front. USRA BMOD action, Jake Richards, your leader. Tim Eaton in second. Truman Asher. Austin Charles with his hands full back there, battle for fourth. Holy smokes. They are flying. Jake Richards, no stranger to a dirt track. Drivers, yellow's on, yellow's on. Go low through three and four. Go yellow low through three is and four. There's on. a car spun at the top. Low through three and four, please. So that puts Asher close enough to maybe shake things up a bit. As Asher, Tim Eaton, both from St. Joe, where they race hard up that way in that part of the country. Jake Richards, the man to beat here tonight. All right, drivers. Race is probably at I-35. One of those tracks up north, the 73T, Ron Hartford in fourth. Hey, how about for the Raytown Rocket? Cody Brill right behind him. Cody Brill showing up late. Ran good last week. Here he is tonight in the 96. Trouble in turn three. Turn four. In between, down there where the truck, the lights are flashing. That car's pointed toward Kansas City. Yeah, this is awesome racing here tonight. The B mods putting on a show, just like the E mods. It's going to be right down to the last minute. Because Tim Eaton don't give up. Ooh, that's Alan Anders being pushed to 15A. That's Ronnie Hartford right there, 97. Orange numbers. That's Mike Ryan, orange number as well. All right, drivers uh, on yeah. the restart. 211, in or out 211. 11's out, 73 is in, 97 in, 96 out, 80. There goes Alan Andrews. 23 in, 65 out, 420 in, 75JL, 15A at the tail. We'll give you one to go this time, driver. Six laps are down. All right. 7J, Jake Richards, AKC Pros, sponsor on that car. All right, driver, safety lights out, green flag this time. Six down, 25 scheduled. We'll go green flag this time. Here we go. Yellow lights out. It's kind of scary when that happens. And the green flag's flying, hammer time. Truman Asher challenging on the bottom. Duh. Jake Richards, Tim Eaton. Here comes Cody Brill in the third. 
the 96. Tim Eaton doing everything he can to keep up with Jake Richards. There's Cody Brill now in third. Truman Asher in fourth. Running the top rim of the racetrack, Jake Richards. Making that car go quick around this track. Tim Eaton in second. Cody Brill might make that third place stick. He's ahead of Truman Asher. Jake Richards way down at the bottom, at the top. Eaton down at the bottom. Now Eaton up high, trying everything. Ooh, boy, good thing he was up high. Track pretty slick right now is what I understand. That 75J is Jackson Simmons from Olathe, Kansas. Jackson Simmons right now pointed toward Lee's summit. Yeah, they're kind of hooked together, it appears. 75J and what car is that with a four? That's a 429, probably Bobby Wood. I'm not sure. 75J pulls away. That is the 4K. I do not have that driver's name. 75J though, that's Jackson Simmons. Look at that treacherous turn two. Star 211 in or out. 211 is out. 96 is in. 73 you will be in. 73 in behind 96. Thank you, sir. 51 out. 97 in. 81 out. 65 in. 15 out. 23 in. 420 out. 75 is in. Tail will go one to go right here, drivers. One to go right here. We welcome you that are watching us at home on YouTube. We don't see that being, uh, right, driver, safety light we don't down, see it going away. We got 12 down. We still have it's helping us schedule. here at Valley Welcome Speedway to be on here YouTube. We, we want you to come out. We're inviting you to come on out, see this in person. Grain Valley, Missouri. Jake Richard, your leader, green flag flies. It's hammer time. <laughs> 211, Tim Eaton. In second, Cody Brill in third, Mike Ryan in fourth. Mike Ryan now looking strong, like he could take third place away from Brill. He's watching. Jake Richards got it in hand, man. Tim Eaton. Cody Brill, Mike Ryan. The black 211 in second. 
That is Eaton. Brill going for second. The 96. The car that makes you want to eat Lucky Charms. He's in third. Hey, quarter panel's wrinkled on that uh, 211. Jake Richards, your leader. Tim Eaton in the second spot in the 211. Gody Brill in third in the 96. As we're putting away the laps. laps to go. Uh-oh. Oh, right, oh right, no. On, this is going to close things up. That's a 23C. Billy Carino from Hoyt, Kansas, bringing out the yellow. Trying to fire that baby up, literally fire it up. Got some fuel in the headers. All right, caution call was for the 73. 23 was after the 73. USRA B mod feature, exciting. And winding down, about four laps to go maybe. Jake Richards, Tim Eaton, Cody Brill, Mike Ryan, Truman Asher, and Austin Charles. All right, 23 up two spots, 23 up two spots behind 65. I see no Truman Asher. I think something happened to him. Tim Eaton wondering if it's possible to get past Jake Richards. 73 up one spot, 73 up one. All right, on the restart, 211 in or out. 211's out, 96 is in. 51, you will be in. 81 will be out. 15A in, 97 out. 420 in, 65 out. 23 in, 73 out. 75 is in. Oh, yeah. Out. We will go green flag racing. This time, drivers, 19 down, 19 down. We're scheduled to go 25. 7J, Jake Richards, there's Cody right, Brill. You can get a good time, shot right, of that car there on the YouTube audience. You guys got a good view of the races. Here we go, green flag flies. Brill on the bottom. Jake Richards. Man, they are racing three wide back there in the back. Jake Richards, Tim Eaton, Cody Brill, one, two, and three, it's not changing. Austin Charles in fourth. Is he putting it on these boys? Jake Richards, Tim Eaton, one and two. Turning 16 lap, second laps, 16.139. It's looking good for the 7J. As he's coming around turn three and then gonna come out of four and he's gonna see the white flag. Final lap for Jake Richards, Tim Eaton, Cody Brill. Checkered flag is in hand. 
Double checkers. Jake Richards, Tim Eaton, Cody Brill, Austin Charles, and Mike Ryan, top five. All right, drivers, that is a complete race. Headed downstairs. Good job, everyone. Good job keeping the show going, getting lined up, and keep everything moving well. I appreciate it. Buddy, we're going downstairs. Jake Richards about to climb out of that race car. He'll be happy. I like happy places. Victor Lane's always happy. High flying photos, John Lee here. There he is, Jake Richards. I'm gonna get a quick interview with him, then get him in Victory Lane here to collect his hardware. <laughs> you know, I never see you until I'm in Victory Lane, and here you are, man, Jake. Congratulations, you set sail. Yeah, I know, uh, this, uh, Dennis has really got it together. This racetrack is phenomenal. Um, I'm glad to see the way that it is, and. Super happy to be here. Uh, I think we're going to start coming more often. This is, this is a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, I'll see you more often then. Congratulations, Jake Richards and Victory Lane. AKC Pros, one of his sponsors, Odom and Allen. Good racing tonight. Wow, man. A couple more to go. Good looking race car. Allen race car out of Urbana, Missouri. J&M Construction, another sponsor. And ODM. Jake Richards and Victor Lane. Says he's coming back. USRA points awarded. All right, mod lights start rolling. We've got mod those lights. IMCA mod lights up next. Track officials have the, I'm assuming they've got it wrong, I got it right. Calling for Zach Christopher to be on the front row, but I think that is Garrett Stoneham in the 4K up on the front row. Beside him, the 84 of Joe Gunn. 
second row inside Tyler Farrell in the 34. The three is Nathan Wolf. Right, we'll the the number four we'll the on the third row would be Zach Christopher. Well, it's hard to tell. All right, drivers, uh, we'll shut off the lights. We'll go green flag. 75, Justin Rafferty. 20 laps. Michael Rafferty in the 41. Jeff Rafferty in the 98. Dylan Rafferty in the 46. And Charlie Lightning Laser in the 53. Racing hard tonight in Mod Lights. Watch that Dylan Rafferty. He always comes from the front or from the back to the front. Nathan Wolf out in front. Nathan Wolf in the green and white, number three. He's your leader. Michael Rafferty in second. Justin Rafferty in third. Dylan Rafferty in fourth. Here comes Michael Rafferty challenging. Michael Rafferty on the bottom. Seventy-five. Justin Rafferty in third. It's a moment. Nathan Wolf falls back. He's in second. Michael Rafferty, your leader. Nathan Wolf, Justin Rafferty, Dylan Rafferty. Here comes Dylan Rafferty around Nathan Wolf. Look at this. Racy, racy, racy. Racetrack, ideal condition tonight. Michael Rafferty. Dylan Rafferty. Dylan fresh off a win in Marshalltown, Iowa. All right, yellow's on, yellow's on. Here comes the yellow. That's a spin. That's Charlie Lager down in the infield. Justin Rafferty stopping to ask for directions. There's 75. And Michael Rafferty, Dylan Rafferty goes by as Justin Rafferty finds where he goes. Ray Seaver, they uh, listen they to that and they follow directions. On the back straight there, so watch for the officials on the back straight, please. Michael Rafferty, Dylan Rafferty. Open on the back What's going to happen here? The out there, please. How many think Michael Rafferty's going to pull off a win? How many people think Dylan Rafferty's going to pull off a win? All right, 46, you like it or no? Welcome to Raffertyville. Now, three is in, 4K in, 75 out, 98 in, 34 out, 04 in, 84 out, 53. All right, 
Mustang drivers. We'll give you one to go right here, one to go right here. We got eight laps in the books, eight down, 20 scheduled. Great racing tonight here right, drivers, let's at uh, Valley let's Speedway. Been absolutely a blast. Here we go, another feature. Watch what happens. Michael Rafferty brings him down in the 41. Nathan Wolf on the bottom, there goes Dylan Rafferty in the second. Here comes Justin Rafferty. Michael Rafferty, the 41 car. He's got the lead at the moment, doing a great job. All right, yellow's on, yellow's on. Yellow lights out. So that puts the pressure on Michael Rafferty. They'll be on his bumper now. Same place. Charlie Lazier once again. All right, uh, 46 in or out, 46. 46 out, 75 in, three in, three inside behind 75, 4K out. Three, you're inside behind 75. I think maybe you can smell the cheeseburgers in turn four. 98's in, 34 out, zero four in. Turn two, different turn story, two, that's. Down, down, down. This time we're that, that place is it, it's, uh, turn two, man. Stuff happens, but they're different, you know. A happenstance in turn two is different than one in turn four. Yeah. Here we go, green flag, hammer time. Michael Rafferty got. A Build up that lead like he had before the yellow. Dylan Rafferty. You don't know what he's thinking. I know what he's thinking. How am I going to win? But Michael's fast tonight. They are brothers. Michael Rafferty, Dylan Rafferty, brothers. I'll tell you what. We don't really know for sure, but it looks like Michael Rafferty has got, got a chance tonight against his brother. Michael Rafferty hanging on to the lead longer than normal. Dylan Rafferty maybe saving his tires, doing something. Lap traffic, that might be it. There goes Dylan. Dylan Rafferty into the lead. Oh, oh, they tangle! Michael Rafferty behind the flags, if Yellow's you're watching on, YouTube. You couldn't even tell he's back there. He got together with his brother. I think they were racing with each other. That's what I think happened. They did make contact, but they were racing hard with each other. What happened? <laughs> Michael Rafferty is upset. Oh, no. Look at this. Oh, my. The 
brothers, you're going to sleep in separate bedrooms tonight. All right, on the re so 46 and 41 are going to go to the back. Both of them. I so just it's heard. Be 75, 4K, 3, 98, 34, and then it'll be uh, 41, 46. There's trouble in Raffertyville. As I understand the officials putting both of them, Dylan and Michael, to the rear of the field. I can hear the officials talking amongst themselves right now. And uh, like I said, it's a bad right, night in uh, Raffertyville. But we got Justin Rafferty up in front. 46. 46 is caused that caution essentially. All right, on the restart, 4K in or out. Garrett Stoneham, second row, gets the choice of in or out. All right, three in, 98 in. One to go this time, drivers. One to go this time. 16 laps are complete. Well, you witnessed some drama tonight. And it may not be over. We'll see how this feature plays out with Justin Rafferty, your leader. Looking for a green. The yellow light is out. Green flag flies. Wow, look at Michael Rafferty. He is fast tonight. That's Justin Rafferty in the 75. Garrett Stoneham in second. And that's Michael Rafferty in third. It's amazing. He is fast tonight. White flag flies though, however. Justin Rafferty may be the winner tonight. Garrett Stoneham in second, Michael Rafferty in third. Here comes the checkered flag. This is for real. Justin Rafferty wins. Garrett Stoneham in second. Looks like Nathan Wolf might All be right, in driver, third, but Michael Rafferty may have done it. We're going to go down. We know for a fact we're going to talk to the winner, which is Justin Rafferty. drama. <laughs> Jeff Rafferty in the 98 coming up to congratulate his son, Justin Rafferty, who does not normally win. He gets one tonight. Highflyingphotos.com down here, we're going to talk quickly to Dylan. Or not Dylan, Justin. So used to Dylan being in Victory Lane Wholesale Batteries, their sponsor. 
Justin Rafferty, man, I'd say your name, but not often enough. Tonight we're going to be talking about you because you won, man. Tell us about what you saw out there. Well, I, I watching the sprint car feature, I knew this thing was going to take rubber, and I could just barely see the B mods just ripping the top, so I knew before I even pulled out here, it was going to be around the top. Uh, this thing was a little tight at the beginning, but uh, I'd say patience is a virtue for pulling that one off, but... Uh, <laughs> um, Yesterday was my stepmom's birthday. We lost her last year on my birthday. So this one's for you, Tiff. We love you. Oh, my goodness. Well, let's hear it for Justin Rafferty and the entire family. Wow. Great job by Justin Rafferty. He's in there getting the goodies now. Victor Lane, pictures for the mantle, trophy for the mantle. Congratulations, let's hear it for Justin Rafferty. That's Jeff Rafferty, the 98, that is Justin's father. What they were talking about in Victory Lane is Jeff lost his wife last year. Justin, that was his stepmom. So it was an emotional win and well-deserved. Justin did a terrific job tonight watching the racetrack, watching the sprint cars and how the track changed, and uh, he took advantage of that. Dylan Rafferty finished fifth. Michael Rafferty finished third. Garrett Stoneham was second behind Justin. So, Fantastic race, man. Dirt Demons, the Creature Feature. All right, Dirt Demons, you can start rolling around, please. Eric Schmidt in the 121 on the pole. Nick Dangerfield in the 13 Junior outside of him. Second row, the 13U is Dylan Boone and right, Nick driver, Michael Solberg outside of him, the Let's red 14. The number... 26, is that what's on that car? All right, driver, safety lights out. We will go green flag racing this time. No, number 20. That is Tucker Steele. Is that right? Yes. 20 is Tucker Steele. Okay, outside of him, Robert Chase. Green flag flies. Eric Schmidt. Going to go for it. Oh, Nick Dangerfield falls back. Michael Solberg in second, but being challenged at the moment. Eric Schmidt. Far enough out front that he could take advantage of that. Here comes the 0-2 car. And this car has been getting fast. Robert Chase from Kansas City. Michael Solberg in third. Here comes Chase. Chase giving Chase to Eric Schmidt.
Down into turn one and two. Coming out onto the back stretch. Robert Chase, Eric Schmidt. Chase on the bottom, Schmidt on the top. Schmidt knows he's there now. They're racing hard together. Robert Chase in the 0-2 trying to show Eckert, Eric Schmidt what he's been missing. Creature feature. YouTube audience, I hope you've stuck with us through the entire show tonight. This is the last event. We hope to see you back or at the track. We know if you're watching, because it tells us how many people were watching. Eric Schmidt, still your leader, and he is uh, probably going to stretch his lead out now. I think Robert, Robert Chase might, might be falling back. Can't tell for sure. He's not as fast as he was. Five laps to go. Michael Solberg, Nick Dangerfield. There's Eric Schmidt in the front. The white one, two, one. Schmidt is cruising now. 121 car, legendary at Valley Speedway. It has returned. Robert Chase and Nick Dangerfield pretty much had been dominating. White flag being prepared to be shown to the 121. Eric Schmidt. Yeah, there it is. He sees it. Final lap. Eric Schmidt thinking right, he can kind of take it easy it. here. But 14 got into the wall, so it's not over. Yellow checkered flies. There, we're done. All right, then. drivers, we're going yellow Eric checkers. Schmidt wins. Going to go down and talk to him in Victory Lane. That's the end of that. What a night. The creature feature was exciting. All the races were exciting. Going to go down and get a word with the winner. Drivers, that is a complete race. That's a complete race. The leader is coming around to take the checker, so we went yellow checker. With wow, that. man. Here we go. Into victory lane. One more time, one final time of the evening. To talk to Eric Schmidt. All right, YouTube audience, thank you for sticking with us. You made it to the Creature feature. Got one more interview, but I want to tell you right now, man, we really appreciate you watching at home on YouTube. Keep doing it. Come out here and see it in person. We had a good time tonight. Thank you for coming. Going to go talk to Mr. Eric Schmidt.
flying, high flying photos .com, always in victory lane to the bitter end made it to the creature feature we made it been a good night at valley speedway so many of you have come out here very faithful and this is a gentleman that has been faithful to valley speedway for a long time i'd see him every week in victory lane and he's returned to victory lane eric schmidt the one two one car Sponsored by A's Body Shop. There he is, Eric Schmidt. Soaring Auto and Graphics. Eric Schmidt, who are you? <laughs> hey, good to see you back, man. How's it feel? Uh, it feels good now. <laughs> Last year was bad. I couldn't ever get it to run right, so I stayed home. You work on it all winter? I worked on it part of the winter. Well, you got it in fine shape now, my friend, here in Victory Lane. Won the creature feature tonight. Let's hear it for Eric Schmidt. Y'all be careful on your way home. We'll see you again next week here at Valley Speedway. <laughs> 